physical. And then after that, the next page, who got the little black paper? Who gonna read the word ghosts? Definition of spirits? Yes. Yeah. Stay, stay here. Okay. The definition of spirit. Uh, one of the biblical nouns. Tell them the name of the book. Tell them where you get the Reading out of Zadavan's Compact Bible Dictionary. So, in other words, sometimes you need the dictionary to understand some biblical words. Con? Con. So, let's Con. go. Spirit. One of the biblical nouns. List, see list of, of such nouns in the article of soul. On soul. Denoting the non material ego in special relationships. The self is generally called spirit in contexts where it's bodily, emotional, and intellectual aspects are not prominent, but where the di direct relationship of the individual to the most high is the point of emphasis. Go ahead. So you was reading spirit or spirits? Spirit, spirit. With the S? Uh, Spirit. No, no. Spirit up. Yes. Okay. Now read the word ghost. Ghost. Where is right there? I got it for her. So a lot of time us that learn from how I mean from learn from back in my one west, we don't usually use the word ghost. We use the word spirit. But the Christian world, they use the word ghost a lot. But I'm letting you know right now, if you see a ghost in your spirit, in, in your house, you chase that demon out. Because it don't belong in the house. Even they, they play word game where they say, oh, it's a ghost. That's some serious stuff. But in reality, the, the, mean, the word ghost means spirit. And we're going to prove that. Read that, Prince. The definition of ghost. The human spirit as distinguished. You know what he say? The human spirit. Go ahead. As distinguished from the body. To give up the ghost, meaning to breathe once less to die. So it's the same thing. So when we, we when we go to the scripture, we're gonna understand what this all is about, huh? Uh -huh. So we're gonna so this class is gonna be a little different. Your shy made a lot of good points today. Um I think a cut made a lot of good points. I've said all that's going to my class. Huh? Uh -huh. So right now we're gonna go to Genesis chapter two. We're going to read this whole book. Um, and we're going to start chapter 2. We're going to read from 1 to 7. Take your time, because I think I got a lot of time. Read it for the book. Uh, Genesis. You can't read it until I tell you to read it, Prince. Read. Read for the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 1. Go ahead. The heavens and the earth were finished. And all the hosts of them. Go ahead. Verse 2. And on the seventh day, the Most High ended his work, which he made, he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all of his work, which he had made. Go ahead. This is not part of my class, but I'm just giving you an understanding. We're not dealing with the Sabbath. This is a different class. Even if it's a Sabbath, but this part right here is a whole different class. Cunt? But I'm making a point. But go ahead. Read a little faster, Prince. Go ahead. Verse 3. And the Most High blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that it, in it he had rested from all his work, which the Most High created and made. Go ahead. This is not part of my class. Go ahead. Verse 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they had, were created in the day that the Most, High, the Most High made the earth and the heavens. Go ahead. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Most High had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. There's still a different class. That's not my point. There go my point right now. Go ahead. Verse 6. But there were there went up a mist of the uh, from the earth, and watered the whole earth, uh, watered the whole face of the ground. And the Most High formed man of the dust of the ground. He said, the most high formed man of the dust of the ground. Go ahead. And breathed into his nostrils. That's my class right there. Go ahead. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. What he did? He breathed into his nostrils. So he created man. Let's, let's use our brain for a second. He created man from the ground, from the dirt, right? And what he did? He breathed 
into his nostrils the breath of life. We need to find out what is the breath of life, and we need to find out what his nostrils talking about. So that's what the book say, Re on line upon line, what? Precept what? Take a what? But the Christian don't understand that. That's the problem. That's not how you read the Bible. That's how you put a class together. You understand? So if you're putting a class together, you have to go line upon line, precept upon precept, take a little, dead a little. There's no other way. Now, if you feel like reading the Bible one day, you say, what? Let me just read the Bible. There's nothing wrong with that. In reality, when you want to put a class together, those are the rules of regulation. Mm. So... Finish, um, finish the, um, the last precept. And man became a living soul. He said, and man became a living soul. Another class. We're not dealing with the soul today. We're dealing with spirit, not the soul. Come? Huh? Uh, We're not dealing with that. So let's jump the gun. Let's go to Job 20, 27 chapter. We're going to read Job chapter 27. We're going to read verse 1. Read it for the book of Job. You can't read without me telling you to read, Prince. Go ahead, Prince. Read for the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 1. Go ahead. Moreover, Job continued his parable and, Be Go ahead. and said. Because when you read Job, the 26th chapter, he was speaking parable. He was talking about how the Most High created the heaven. How beautiful the Most High work is, cunt. So go ahead. So read verse um, 2. Verse 2. As the Most High liveth. How the Most High liveth, go ahead. Who hath taken away my judgment. And, and the my, Almighty who has vexed my soul. Go ahead. We're not dealing with the soul. We're not dealing with the soul. That's a different class. Go ahead. This is what we're dealing with. Go ahead. Verse 3. All the while, my breath is in me. You heard what he said? All around, my breath is in me. Go ahead. And the spirit of the Most High is in my nostrils. Oh, so now he changed it. He changed it now. See, the Christian can teach you that. Because they're not reading the book. They tell the Old Testament done away with, but he's using the word spirit for breath. And I guarantee you that's the truth. If you don't believe me, let me put a bag over your head so what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's, let me put a bag so, gonna, so all these people talk about the Bible is not real, don't pay them no mind. There's the challenge. Let me put a bag over your head if that spirit not going to leave your body. Plastic bag. Plastic a plastic bag. bag. <laughs> it is what it is. Read that precept one more time for me, Prince. Read for the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 3. All the while, my breath is in me. He said, all the while, thy spirit is in me. Go ahead. And the spirit of the Most High is in my nose. It's in my nose. But here's another problem. What you say, Prince? It's two separate entities. Yeah, but hold up. Here's another thing. You jumping the gun, but I got you. When you read the Apocrypha, they say you was born in vain. So you got people that's walking around, they breathing, but they don't have the life inside them. Mm. And I'm going to show you that today. Take your time, Stuart. Don't jump my class now. Don't jump my class, but I got you. So let's go back. Let's drop that. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 20, 21. Right now, we're dealing with the spirit, the air that make you breathe. That's what we're dealing right now. Come because it's three, it's a lot of part to this class. When you're dealing with the word spirit, it's different way you can break it down. Uh, mm -hmm. Isaiah. Mm -hmm. um, Isaiah chapter two, verse two and twenty-one. Two and twenty-one. 21. When you're dealing with the um, Isaiah, the two chapter, it's talking about Christ is coming. Come. Okay. So. Let's see what happened. But just remember, when you read the um, chapter 2, verse 19 to 22, let's read 19 to 22. But some of it's not part of my class. Actually, it's 21 and 22 is a part of my class. But read 19 and 20 real quick, fast. Read it for the book of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 19. Go ahead. And they shall go into the holes of, uh, holes of the rock and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Most High. Because Christ is coming, but this is not part of my class. Come uh, Keep going. And for the glory of his majesty, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. So, this is another, a little bit hot sauce. Just a little flavor. That'll let you know the Old Testament talk about Christ is coming. Uh, right there. But that's not part of my class. Go ahead. Verse 20. And in that day, a man shall cast his idols of Cyril, civil, silver, and his idols of gold, which they had made each one 
for himself to worship. This is not my class. Go ahead. To the moles and to the bats. Go ahead. Verse 21. To go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the rags, ragged rocks for fear of the Most High and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to take shake terribly the earth. Go ahead. Cease ye from man. Go ahead. Whose breath is in his nostrils. You heard what he said? Nah, he chanted again. He said breath. What's in your nostril? Breath. What's the other word? Spirit. Y'all see what I'm doing? Y'all see the connection? Y'all still don't see it. Read, go ahead. Read it again. Verse 22. Cease ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils. Which is the spirit. But, the, but you've been going to church all this time and you don't know that? Something's wrong with that picture. Something's wrong with that picture. But they say we racist. We're not, oh, you're not teaching the truth. But it's right there. Mm -hmm. I didn't twist your arm in your head to see this. It get better. It get better. Um, drop that. Let's go Genesis. No, I'm, no, let's go. I'm jumping the gun. Let's go Job chap chapter 33. We're going to read 3 to 4. We're going to see what's really going on. Because when you see the word spirit, it's different meaning to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you go to church and you start dancing and you say, I got the Holy Spirit in me. Use a liar. Use a liar. You dancing around, jumping around, but I have the Spirit in me. Use a liar. So, you got Job? Job chapter... Read. 33? Yes. Job chapter 33, verse... 3. My word shall be of the... Uprightness of my heart. Go ahead. And my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. Go ahead. Verse 4. The Spirit of the Most High hath made me. You hear what he said? He said, The Spirit of the Most High hath made me. So when the Most High said, Let it be light, that was his spirit. Later on, we're going to find out more about that spirit too. He said, What? Read that again. Verse 4. The Spirit of the Most High hath made me. Go ahead. And the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Now, this breath is talking about what? It's about the word. Later on, I'm going to show you that. Because you can't just read the word spirit and just say, you know what? No. You got to read this book. You got to open this book. You got to go Genesis, Revelation, just to break down breath of life. That's just one part. We're going to see what happened to that spirit too. Drop that. You read four, right? Drop that. Let's go to um, Genesis chapter 7. And we're going to read chapter, uh, verse 1, and we're going to jump the gun 6 into 22. We're going to figure this word spirit out. Chapter 7. When you get it, brother, please read it. Read it for the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verse 1. Go ahead. And the Most High said unto Noah, Come thou in all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Now here's another thing with this scripture right here. This is not part of my class, but the Most High said, I saw righteous men in this wicked generation. The reason why the Most High destroys this word right now is because you all know her. You all know her right now. The reason why you don't see America destroyed right now, because you all know her. That's not part of my class. I'm just letting you know that we all know her to a certain level because when the Most High looked this wicked world, he said, I can't destroy this world right now. You in this world. Your family's in the world. You're doing better than life, right? But it's a time for that. But this is not part of my class. Jump the gun. Um, don't hate on me, brothers. Um, 16. Verse 16. Verse 16. Go ahead. And they that went in went in male and female of all flesh. Read that again. And they that went in, went in male and female. Male, of, male and female, go ahead. Of all flesh. All flesh, go ahead. As the Most High had commanded him, and the Most High shut him in. Go ahead. Verse 17. This is going in the ark, go ahead. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark. And it was lifted up above the earth. Go ahead. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth. 
and the ark went up the, uh, upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the hills, the high hills, that were under the whole heaven. You know the covered. you know the story when they went to the ark, the the water ran. You know you know the whole story, right? Uh -huh. But go ahead. Verse twenty. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail. Go ahead. And the mountains were covered. All the mountains covered. Go ahead. And all flesh died. They say all flesh died. You know what all mean? You know what all flesh mean, right? All flesh died. Go ahead. That moved upon the earth. Go ahead. Both the, of fowl and of cattle. Give me an example. Go ahead. And of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Go ahead. And every man. Verse 22. Go ahead. All in, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life. So this life, this spirit is what? He stopped you from breathing. Because the men that died in the water, that was not righteous. They didn't have no righteous word in them. Only the righteous one that was in the ark. So which breath of life is he talking right now? The air that you breathe. And he killed the, the, the dogs. He killed the other animal. He killed the, the cattle. He put, what, what did he say? He said bring seven righteous cattle in the, in the ark. And I think it was the other one too. Clean. Thank you. Okay. Y'all know the story. But what about this? He was about the air, the air that you breathe, the oxygen. Like I challenge all my brothers, that's that community. How you call it, Ben? Um, the conscious community, the African thing. Let me put a bag over your head, a plastic bag. See if you, if I'm not gonna take that breath of life on you. Drop that. Let's go to Ecclesiastic chapter three. We're gonna read 19 and 20. So now we're gonna, we need to find out what happened when you die. Keep it loud a little bit, sis. Go ahead. You, you was in Job 32, but you should have read it. Read it to the 8th verse 2. Oh. Eight verse. All right, just hold that. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to... Eight verse, yeah. I think it's part of... Go ahead. Um, let's go back to Job. Go back to Job. Yes, and then after you can get Ecclesiastic. Job 32 verse... 8. 32 verse 8. Okay. Now, I'm going to save that one, Ben, from last. Can I save that for last? Yeah, I'm going to save that for last. Remember the scripture. That's going to be for my other one. Throw out a prince. I need that. That's for last. I'm going to hold that. Um, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 19 and 20. Go ahead, go ahead. Read for the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse... In the Bible. Sorry about that. In the Bible. Go ahead. Verse 19. But that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts, even one... We start from 16, so they have some type of understanding. Okay. Read 16 and 17 a little fast, because 19 and is the point. Go ahead. Read for the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. And more, moreover... I was under the sun and the place of judgment. Go ahead. That wickedness that was there, and the place of righteousness, righteousness that iniquity was there. So he give, so um Solomon is giving a um he giving an example righteous and unrighteous right? But that's not that's not where I'm at. Go ahead. Verse 17. I said in mine heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. Go ahead. He but, said he gonna judge the right the righteous and the wicked. Go ahead. For there is a time there, um, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. So I'll, I'll laugh at people when they say they don't believe in the Bible, but we're not dealing with that right now. Go ahead. Verse eighteen. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men. Go ahead. That the Most High might manifest them, and that might they might see that they they themselves are as beasts. beasts. The Most High make men like beasts. So when you look at animal, he look at you just like the animals. Why is that? It's a reason for that. Because you all breathe the same air. We all have the same energy. The only thing is we have soul, animal don't. The scripture say what? Man was what? Came from the ground and man became a living soul. So we lie to our children and say, oh, you got that little dog is going to heaven. Don't lie to your children. It's the same thing telling by Christmas. I had a cat before. Something happened to the cat. I had to tell my daughter, you know, it's out of here. <laughs> the cat is gone. You not don't don't pray and fast that the cat's gonna come back. That's never gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. Only you, only us gonna be resurrected. 
that animal, cat, monkey, whatever you want to call it, they gone. Mm -hmm. So let's see what um, verse 19 say. Verse 19. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. The same thing happened to men happened to beasts. Go ahead. Even one thing befalleth them, as the one dieth. Go ahead. So dieth the other. A man die, animal dies. Go ahead. Yea, they have all one breath. They have what? Yea, they have all one because breath. Because we have the same oxygen. You go outside, you see them animals, you see them cat, them dog, they're all breathing the same air. Okay. This is in the Bible. Go ahead. So that a man have no preeminence above a beast. Now look, look what he about to say. Go ahead. For all is vanity. Why is that? Who messed that up? Which man messed that up? It was Adam. Adam messed that up. Now King Solomon being a wise man, why you got your face like that, brother? I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking um, who messed it up, who sin came first from? Adam! Adam, what, what? you need to come here more often, brother. You need to come here more often. Adam messed that up. The reason why, the reason why we die is because of Adam. Instead of the woman. No, not the woman. No. 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 No, that's Adam. The woman. It was just deceived, but Adam was the man in the house. Right. He's the man in the house. <laughs> they already got their punishment. Their punishment, you know their punishment. Mm -hmm. They got to give birth, and they go, when they pray, they go to that, that whole thing. That's their punishment. But the reason why everybody dead, dying, mm -hmm. Adam did that. Right, right. So I'm mad at Adam to this day. <laughs> go ahead. Verse 20. All go unto, the, unto one place. All are of the dust. He said all... All go into one place, all of the dust. Go ahead. And all turn to the dust again. And you turn to the dust again. That's why I tell people all the time, I don't know why they teach you going to go to heaven. You look at the body in the casket, you go to the funeral place, you go to the cemetery, you saw the body going underground, but you're looking up there. How stupid can you be? The body is going down. I'm looking at my family. I'm looking at my grandmother. I'm looking at my family going under the ground. But that's not what they teach. He's somewhere in the heaven. Where you get this teaching from? The body's right there. It tells you to, you turn to dust. Maybe I'm maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm sick in the head. Let's let's read this again. Maybe I'm sick in the head. Let's let's read that again. Verse, verse 21. Go ahead. Who knows the spirit of No, verse 20, 20. Go ahead. Verse 20. All go unto one place. They all go unto one place, which is the underground. Go ahead. All of one of all of one of the dust. Because we was born from the ground, we was born from dirt. Go ahead. And all turn to dust again. again. Now, which part that you don't understand? Now we're dealing with the physical body. You going back on that dirt. That's what Adam created, my brother. Mm -hmm. He did that. So when I see Adam in the kingdom, we're gonna throw them hands. We're gonna throw them hands. Read verse twenty-one. Verse twenty-one. Who knows the spirit of man? That's what you should know, Prince. That's what mess a lot of people up. That's what he's about to talk about. That's why I go to the Father. Go ahead. Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? He said what? Who knows the man? Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? So when the body goes, the spirit go to the Father. Let's see the animal where the spirit go. Go ahead. And the spirit of the beast that goes downward to the earth. That means for them is over. That's why I believe resurrection. So the most I can send that spirit back to me. But that's a different class. Come. Let's drop there. Let's see if we're telling the truth. Let's go to the New Testament. We're going to chapter um, Luke chapter 8. We're going to read verse 40 and 42. And we're going to jump to 49 and 56. We're still dealing with the breath of life. We're still dealing with the spirit. Come. We're still dealing with the breath. We're still dealing with the spirit. The air, the oxygen that make you move. We're not doing nothing else. It's a simple class for now. When you get it, brother, read it. Luke chapter 8, verse 40. Go ahead. And it came to pass that when Yahushai was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. Go ahead. Verse 41. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, 
and he was a ruler of the synagogue. Go ahead. And he fell down at Yahushua's feet. So this man was a ruler when he saw Christ. He, he went to, he kind of bowed down to him. He's begging him for something. Go ahead. And besought him that he would come to his house. So he told this man, come to my house. Go ahead. Verse 42. For he had one uh, only, sloppy. For he had one only daughter. So he had one daughter. Go ahead. About 12 years of age. Go ahead. And she lay a, lay a dying. But what as but as he went, the people thronged him. So before he could go to Christ, the people kind of step up. We're dealing with him. So let's jump because there's another story behind that. That's when they touched Christ's garment. The girl, we're not dealing with that story. We're dealing with another story. Jump to verse 49. Verse 49. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to, to him, Thy daughter is dead. He said, Your daughter's dead. Don't worry about it. Don't even talk to um, Yahweh. Your daughter's gone. Forget about it. Just, 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 just forget about it. Go ahead. Trouble not the master. Don't trouble the master. Go ahead. But when Yahweh heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not. Believe only. You hear what he said? Fear not. Believe only. Go ahead. And she shall be made whole. Go ahead. Verse 51. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in. You know why? Because he know Israel. He know Israel. Because this is all Israelite. This is no Gentile. This story right here. This is all Israel. Go ahead. Save Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden. Go ahead. And when and all wept and bewailed her but he said, weep not, she is not dead. He said, she is not dead, what? But sleepeth. She sleepeth, go ahead. And they laughed at, uh, laughed to him, but they laughed him to scorn, knowing that he, that she was dead. Go ahead. And he put them all out. That lets you know Christ is not that sissy boy that they make him look. He's not like this. See, you piss him off, he kick you out. Christ said, get him out the house. If somebody tell you get out the house, they being kind of rough with you. Man, sit, get out my house. They being a little rough. So Christ is not that man that, like he's a, you know, an angel. Mm. You know, you don't play with him. Go ahead. They have a song called, try, don't try me, try Jesus. Because I put hands on you. That's the name of the song. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard that. That's the song. And they make, they make um, BT. they don't even win some award. They say, don't try me. Try Jesus because I got hands. I said, you don't know who you're talking about, bro. But the Christian loved it. Try me. Don't try Jesus. You know what I mean? You know, trying to hurt me, not him. But go ahead. Verse 54. And he put them all out. Go ahead. And he took her by the hand and called, called saying, May arise. Go ahead. And her spirit came in. Whoa, 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 whoa. What came back? And her spirit came in. So what came back? What's the other word? The breath. The breath. The breath. The breath came back. You see how the Bible used two different words, but they have the same meaning? What? It clearly told us that she was dead, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture said. Mm -hmm. But what came back? The breath. The spirit came back. Because she was already gone. So right now, in this particular topic right now, for now, we're dealing with the breath of life. Come. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. And her spirit came in, and came again, and she rose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. Go ahead. Verse 56. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Because at the time, Christ, he really didn't want to reveal himself right now. Come. But they were surprised and said, wow, the spirit came back. But let's see another thing right now. Let's go to Genesis chapter um, 25. We're going to read 7 and 8. Because remember earlier what he read from the, um, the dictionary. You tired, Prince? No, I'm glad. You said at first what? Um, 25, we're going to read 7 and 8. Just two of them. There's two. Sorry. We talk about um this this scripture talk about Abraham, but go ahead, Prince. Read for the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 7. Go ahead. 
And these are the days of the uh, years of Abraham's life, which he lived, and hundred three score and fifteen years. So one hundred seventy five years. Go ahead. Then Abraham gave up the ghost. You hear what he say? Abraham give up what? The ghost. The ghost. But this particular time they're using what? They're using ghosts, but which is the spirit, so which is the breath of life. You see what I'm, you see, y'all understand what I'm trying to say right now? We're still using the word spirit, but have different meaning to it sometimes. Don't get caught up. You might say, but why say ghosts right there? Man, you ain't no Christian, you're a scholar. Read the book. Line upon line, precept, take a little daily. Mm -hmm. This particular time they use ghosts. That's why I make them read the word ghost earlier. It said what? The word ghost also go for what? The word spirit. Mm -hmm. So don't let this word right there say, I don't believe in the Bible no more. And just walk off. Nah, take, get, read the book. Come? Yeah. Drop that. Let's go to the book of Acts, the seventh chapter. We're going to read 54 to 60. We're going to read the book of Acts, chapter 7. We're going to read 54 to 60. Everybody got it? The book of is after the book of John. Yeah. Um now when you read this story, it's about Steph Stephen, right? Or some people call him Stephen. Stephen right? What he did, he gave a whole story of what happened with the Old Testament to Christ. Mm -hmm. But the Pharisees had an issue with him. But then I'm then again I'm gonna come back to the story. But I'm trying to make another point. So, read fifty. Um, read started from fifty. Started from fifty-one. Read for the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty. Now this is Stephen speaking. Go ahead. Fifty-one. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in the heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. As your fathers did, so ye do ye. Which, uh, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Because Israel did. They killed the prophet. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just. Because they killed a the prophet before Yahweh shall show. That's why a lot of time when we go to camp, we praise. Because anything could happen. Go ahead. Of whom ye have been now betrayers and murderers. Now jump to verse 54. Verse 54. When they, have, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. Because he was talking about the Pharisees and the Israelites that would have an un unbelievable, unbelievable heart. Okay? Go ahead. And they gnashed on him with their teeth. Go ahead. But he, being filled, full of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. But we're not dealing with that. Go ahead. Look up steadfastly into heaven. So he looked up uh, uh, in heaven. Go ahead. And he saw the glory of the Most High, and Yahweh standing. So he saw Christ in the right hand of the Father. Go ahead. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. He said, I see the heavens open. Go ahead. And the Son of Man standing on the right hand of the Most High. And he's telling the truth, but the people's not ready for that type of teaching. That's why the Old Testament brothers, they're not ready for that type of teaching. Go ahead. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with, a, uh, with one accord. Go ahead. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. And what they did? They cast him out of the city and stoned him. So they hit him with a bunch of rocks. Go ahead. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man of, man's feet, whose name was Saul. Go ahead. And they stoned Stephen, calling calling upon the Most High, and saying, Yahweh received my spirit. Where what he say? Yeah. While they stoning him, he bleeding to death. He said, Christ received my spirit. He didn't say the soul. We're not dealing with the soul. But he did not say that. He said, my spirit. Go ahead. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, yea, Lord, lay not thy sin to thy, thy charge. That let me know he's a very good prophet. If it was me, I would tell the Father, kill him all. But he's Stephen. Come. Because they stoning me. You think I'm going to say, Pop, don't take her? Hey, Father, she throw a rock at me. Take her, Father. But that's me. I'm being a war. He's another prophet. So he tell the father, don't put the sin upon him. Just take my spirit. But they stoned him to death. 
But what he say? He said, take my spirit. Drop that. Let's go to Luke 23. And we're going to read 44, 46. It's another one too, Prince. Which, um, Ben, which one, uh, when they say Yahushua was on the cross, he gave up the spirit? Is it, I'm look, but I was looking for another one. Look 23, we're going to read 44, 46. When well, you got it, Prince, if you tired, let me know. I'll let another brother read. We're going to look chapter 44, 46. Go ahead, brother. Read for the book of Luke chapter 23, verse 44. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth. Go ahead. Until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened. And the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. This is a different class, but go ahead. And when the Yahushai had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hand I commend my spirit. You hear what he said? Same thing Stephen said is the same thing Christ said. Mm -hmm. Take my spirit. Because what? He talked about the air, the oxygen that you breathe. Go ahead. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. He gave a what? He gave up the ghost. He gave up the spirit. So in other words, he with the dead. But he was still in the cross. Come? Come. Same word. Same word. It's not hard to understand. Mm -hmm. We got one more, then we're going to be dealing with a different type of spirit. Because when you're dealing with the spirit, it's different meaning to it. One more dealing with the breath of life. When you die, what happened to you? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sis. It was, I think it's in Mark um, 15, 37. He, he said give up the spirit, right? Yeah. It said the ghost. It said, it said the ghost. Yeah. Okay. 1537. All right. So Mark 15 said the ghost. I think I got that in my other class too. But this one says spirit. But what is the same thing? Mm -hmm. But other people are going to say, why you see the Bible? What they say? What's the word? The Bible what? It, it's not. God. It's not. It's just Mark went what they say in the Old Testament, which is the word ghost. Mm -hmm. Luke just put spirit. It's the same thing. God. God. I know people walk out the truth because of lack of understanding. God. But it say the same thing. Get a dictionary. It said the word ghost and spirit all what? Same, same thing. thing. Mm -hmm. So thank you, sis. So we're gonna go um Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We're gonna read five and seven. Then we're gonna be dealing with a different type of spirit. Mm -hmm. When you get it, Prince, read. Read from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. In the Bible, go ahead. Verse 5. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish. Go ahead. And the grasshopper shall be burdened. Go ahead. A burden. And shall des and desire shall fail. What what's the reason desire is gonna fail? Go ahead. Because man goeth to his own home. Where they go? Man goeth to uh, go goeth to his long home. Another way he's going under the under the dirt. Six feet deep. Go ahead. That's your home. Go ahead. And the mourners go about the streets. Because they crying because somebody passed away. Like you're having a funeral. Go ahead. Verse six. Or, ear, or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bottle be broken, or the pitcher be broken at a fountain, at the fountain. Go ahead. Or the wheel be wheel broken at a cistern. Go ahead. Then shall the dust return to the earth. Now we got Solomon saying the same thing. Then the dust will return to the earth. Go ahead. As it was. Go ahead. And the spirit shall return to what? the most. What? And the spirit shall return unto the Most High. Now, read that again. What? And the Spirit. And what? And the Spirit. Go ahead. Shall return unto the Most High who gave it. Now, did Christ tell him, take my spirit away from me, Father? God. Did not Stephen say, take my spirit away from me? God. So what's the problem? Mm. What is the problem? It's because you've been going to them stupid church and they're not teaching nothing. You go there for three hours, they only read one verse and you stuck in there. You crazy. I never liked church. My mother, my, my aunt, she used to tell me, go back outside, because soon I get off the truck, I throw my shirt up. The only thing you have to respect your elders. So before I get in the house, she said, put your shirt back on. Come on, mom. 
<laughs> you know, I gotta put my clothes back on. But I never liked church till I walked to the house of David. You know, you, you can fight a little bit in here. You, you, you can drink a little wine in here. You know, I'm not saying do it. it it's, it's different things you can do as us men. Because now there's a lot of men leaving those church because you're no longer a man. They want you to be whatever. Uh, they want you to be weak. I'm not listening to you. I will never tell we're not supposed to listen to our sisters. If you got something good, yeah. But you're never going to touch over there. There will never be a, a, a I'm never going to call a woman, but oh, this is deacon so-and-so. Man, this is sister preacher. No, she's not. This is a deaconess. No, she's not. They are teachers. Come. But this is not my class. But we're going to stop that. We're going to be dealing with a jealousy spirit now. We're going to stop that. The breath spirit, we're going to be dealing with a jealousy spirit. Con? Con. So what we're dealing with now is a jealousy spirit. First, we're going to go to Samuel. First Samuel chapter 18, we're going to read 5 and 9. We're going to be dealing with je a spirit of jealousy. We're, we're no longer dealing with the breath of life. We're not dealing with the spirit of the mind now. We're not dealing with when the most I take your spirit away. We're dealing with a different spirit. We're dealing with Samuel, 1 Samuel, mm -hmm. chapter 18. We're going with 5 and 9. You got it, um, Shaquat? 18. Read it from the book of... Don't yes. read it till I tell you read it, Prince. Everybody got it? So let's go. We read um, 1 Samuel, chapter 18. We're going with verse 5. Go ahead. And David went out whatsoever Saul sent him. And behave him, himself. Because he's under assault. So he, you got to behave yourself. Just like it's a, it's a rules of regulation here. You got brothers that's over us. You know, if you acknowledge. Just like if you live in our house, you listen to what your mother and your father say. That's right. It's rules and regulation in life. But go ahead. And Saul set him over the man of war. So David has some type of power. Go ahead. And he was accepted in the sight of all the people. Now that's a problem right there. Saul so make him captain over everybody. But now the people love them. That's a problem mm -hmm. to certain people. Go ahead. And also in the sight of Saul's servants. Not even Saul's servant loved David. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistines. Go ahead. That the woman. That who? That the woman. That who? That the woman. Here go again. Here go them sisters. That who? That the woman. That the woman. Go ahead came out of all the cities of Israel. Now, we had an argument about this last week. Sisters don't go to war. How you, something ain't right with this, this right here, but I'm gonna make a point. I'm making a point. Sisters don't go to war. Go ahead. Singing and dancing to meet King Saul. There's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. With tabrets, with joy, and with instruments of music. Remember, this is the king of Israel, so you know them sisters ain't come looking raggedy. They put their bass on. They looking good, smelling good. They dancing. They do all types of dancing for the king, right? But they have a song. The song is the problem. Go ahead. And the woman answered one another. One to another. They all gathered themselves together, came up with this song. Go ahead. As they played and said, Saul has slain his thousands. He's, they say Saul has killed a thousand. Go ahead. And David, his and ten thousand. And they sing, David killed ten thousand. We have a suffer problem. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to war. Where you get this idea from? What is this? Saul made a mistake. Let's read. And Saul was very wrong. He was what? Wrong. Why he was upset? Because the sisters came out and they was teaching, they was um, singing that David killed 10,000 and he became jealous. But the thing is, he should know better. If I'm the king, I don't care what's going on. You got to answer to me. He didn't see that. If you're the king, if I'm the father, you live in my house, you got to answer to me or you got to get out of my house. He didn't peep that. He didn't acknowledge that. You the, you the king, the most I know to, he give you 40 years to rule. Mm -hmm. David cannot rule while you rolling. It's not going to make, no, it don't make any sense. Uh, uh. But he's a different type of man. Mm -hmm. Read that again. And Saul was very raw. Go ahead. And the saying displeased him. Because what they were singing got him upset. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he said, they have ascribed unto David 10,000. You heard him? 
I wouldn't care. Someone with my spirit, I don't care about stuff like that. You under me. You gotta, you gotta report to me. In your shoulders. They're all, you all under me. You gotta think that way when you're a leader. I don't care what you think. It's either you're gonna leave my school or you gotta follow my rules. Go ahead. And to me, they have a scribe. You heard them to me, they have to scribe. <laughs> Stop crying, man. Go ahead. <laughs> and what can he have more but the kingdom? You hear what he said? Mm -hmm. That's envy. This, if he's saying that, if they call and say 10,000, and they only describe me for 1,000, mm -hmm. what he going to do now? Now his whole mind is messed up. Now he's going to try to kill King David. God. Why? Because he let the spirit of jealousy God. inside him. Right. That's why I can't right. be jealous of nobody. Right. I don't care what you do. It's other thing in this right. world that make me better. Right. That I have daughters. You know, my, my youngest going to college. I didn't go to college. I'm excited. You know, I'm happy. Oh, my God. You think I'm worried about you? <laughs> you let's be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, my father's not, do, you know, man, not doing too good. Mm -hmm. I got to pray for my father. You think I'm worried about you? You think I'm going to be jealous of you? You cannot let a spirit of jealousy into on you. You're going to be crazy for the rest of your life. Yes. A brother might have a, a wife that's more diligent than you. Well, get better with it. Mm -hmm. Or a sister might have, a sister might be more diligent, which is in the scripture a little bit, more than a brother. Mm -hmm. Well, just get over it. Done. You Done. can't be jealous. Done. And that's in the scripture. I'm going to prove that. Remember, we're dealing jealousy, the spirit of jealousy right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So read, read, read that again. Read verse 9. And saw I David. And, and what? And saw what? And saw I David. He wasn't looking out for David. He was checking every move David made. Because mm -hmm. he believed David trying to take the kingdom. But David's not. Sure. David is a true shoulder. I mean, a soldier to, to what? To King Saul. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it came to. No, no. Salah. Yeah. Nice. From that day and forward. Come. So drop that. Let's go to. Um, First, um, this next, the next chapter, uh, actually it's the same. Um, let's go on, um, same chapter, I believe. Um, we're going to read 10 and 11. First, first Samuel chapter 18, 10 and 11. Yeah. Go ahead, Prince, same thing. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from the Most High came upon Saul. Now, we have an evil spirit. Drop that. That's for my uh, another class. I'm sorry about that. Let's let's go to um let's go to um Numbers chapter five. We're gonna read eleven fourteen. Whole last scripture. That's for another class that we're gonna read today. If I have enough time, we're gonna go with Numbers. What? What scripture? Is it? Numbers chapter five. We're gonna read eleven fourteen. I'm gonna show you a different type of je jealousy. Numbers chapter five. We're going to read 11 to 14. When you get it, brother, read. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel. This is a Most High telling Moses. Go ahead. And say unto them, If any man's wife. If any man's wife, go ahead. Go aside and commit a trespass against him. In other words, they call it cheating, but commit adultery. Y'all with me? Go ahead. Go ahead. And a man lie with. With her carnally. Go ahead. And it be hid from the eyes of her husband. So in other words, she slept with another man while he, she's still married to this man. Nice. Go nice. ahead. And it be kept closed. And she be defiled. Go ahead. And there be no witness against her, neither she be taken with the matter. Go ahead. Now, I, at this time, we was more into the most high level. Mm -hmm. Right now, brother, you never going to find out until you get your DA test. Okay. But before, it was something else that happened. Okay? That's when the most high really was working with us. Now you gotta get a DNA test to find out that's your children. That's how low we are. Before it was not so. I'm gonna show you. Go ahead. And the spirit of jealousy came upon him. He said what? And the spirit of jealousy came upon him. Now that's that's men. You mess with my woman. That's the spirit of jealousy. I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put hands on you. Gun? That's the spirit of jealousy. Don't talk to my woman. I know some brothers don't want their women to do nothing. Don't talk to my sister. I know some brothers not jealous, but some brothers are jealous. Do not speak to my wife. That's just the way it is, some brothers. Always remember that as well, brothers. So don't see a sister you just hugged up 
And her husband might be like, what this brother doing hugging my sister, my wife? <laughs> Y'all laughing, but I'm dead serious. Yeah. Some, some men are like that, so you gotta check that man's spirit. I'm not gonna hug her if, if my brother right here jealous. Especially, I'm not gonna like to hug sisters, to be honest with you. Don't tell them that, but, you know? But I'd rather say shalom, shalom. But don't tell them that. That's a different story, right? But, but go ahead, read. And he be jealous of his wife. And she be defiled. Go ahead. Or if the spirit of jealousy came upon him. Now, if she, if he just jealous for no reason, you understand? In other words, she didn't commit adultery. She not cheating on him. She not being a bad wife. Go ahead. And he be jealous of his wife. She be not defiled. Go ahead. In other words, she didn't sleep with another man. He just a jealous man. <laughs> like who? Like King Saul. Uh -huh. So you have another, you have a jealous spirit on you. Or you might be jealous of the brother for whatever your reason is. Go ahead. Then shall the man bring his wife unto the priest. Now, um, that's dealing with something else. We're going to stop right there. But when you read this, at that time when we was in Jerusalem, when that happened, we bring it to the priest. It was something that happened that you know that your wife committed adultery. Now, you just got to wait for the baby. That's if she get pregnant. But that's a different, that's a different thing. So now let's, let's jump to... Um, Genesis, we're going to read chapter 1, chapter 4, we're going to read from 1 to 8. We're going to be dealing with Cain. Let's go to Genesis. So you don't have that spirit of jealousy inside you. Or some of my sisters don't be jealous of other sisters. Go ahead, Prince, read. All right, read it from the book of Genesis, chapter 4, verse 1. Go ahead. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Most High. And she, and she again bare his brother, Abel. Go ahead. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Go ahead. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought up the fruit of the ground. And offering unto the Most So the Most uh, asked for a sacrifice. So this is what Cain, uh, Cain did. Go ahead. And Abel, he also brought up firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Most High had respect unto Abel. Now who fault is that? It's Cain for. Uh -huh. The Most High said, bring your best sacrifice. This Eddie here going to bring the worst sacrifice. Uh -huh. That's your problem. Don't be mad at me. Go ahead. And to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Because why? He was jealous at his brother mm -hmm. Abel. Mm -hmm. Because the Most High said, bring your sacrifice, you're going to bring the worst. You can't be mad at me. If, you, <laughs> if the Most High working with you, I can't be mad at you. I tell people all the time, when you're dealing with the Most High, there's nothing I can do about it. Because it said what? His gift is from above. The book of James say that. So if my gift from above or your gift, I'm wasting my time if I'm jealous of you. Mm -hmm. Some sisters got different um, blessings. Another sister, you wasting your time if you're going to be jealous of this other sister. Uh, you wasting your time. Because they spirit, they gift it from above. That's right. We play basketball to get better. We practice football to get better. But when we deal with the most side, that's came above. Sure. So I will never be a jealous of brother or sister. Mm -hmm. If you make $2 million, you can give me $200,000 though. <laughs> but go ahead. And the Most High said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? Why, why are you jealous? Why are you jealous? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And why is thy countenance fallen? Mm -hmm. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. So in other words, the reason why black people can get it together is because of what? We sinning. Mm -hmm. That's man, it's so sad. You I heard what happened yesterday? This idiot went to a party. It was the mother, two daughters, and another daughter. I think the little one was his daughter. He killed the mother, mm -hmm. he killed the two girls, mm -hmm. and he let the other girl alive, which is his daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, then he killed himself. Uh, this is crazy, man. Uh, now, remember a month ago, because of the check, the stimulus check, right, right. this idiot did the same thing. He killed a whole family for that money. And he only kept his, daughter, his son, I believe. That's why I tell people, you got to understand people you have children with. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you're not going to give me no money? Cool. I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Look, it's, 
we, we gotta think, man. You gotta think for people sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna invite you to my party if I just curse you out yesterday. I know you burning. I know you burning. Sometimes we gotta think, man. Yo, he killed the whole family, man. And then he killed himself. Why? Because first of all, they don't understand this book. When you break, it's, it sounds simple, Cain and Abel, but it's not. It's not because the most I say, if you don't do my work, sin gonna be at your door. You got a basketball player make six million dollars. Now they dead broke. From six million dollars, you broke, brother. <laughs> That's serious, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They dead broke, begging for money. Mm -hmm. Sixty million now. One dude, he said the best years. It was fifteen years. He lived good. Now he dead broke. Mm -hmm. Now he living through books. How to save your money? That's that curse. That's for Israel. Mm -hmm. But that's not my class. Yeah. So where are we at? Uh, verse seven. Um, you finish it? No. Go ahead. And unto thee shall be his desire. And thou shalt rule over him. Go ahead now, stop that. Let's go to 1 John chapter 3. We're going to read 12 and 14. 1 John chapter 3, 12 and 14. We're killing each other badly out here, man. Yeah. Badly. I'm not going to jail. So <laughs> believe me, I'm not pulling no trigger on you. I'm not going to stab you. I'm going to do this. Forget about you. And just walk. Right. Forget about you. That's right. I'm not going to jail, man. I got too many people calling me, man. I got too many people depending on me. I got little nephews that give me real hugs, man. Little two-year-old, five or sixteen-year-old. They see me, hey, uh, man, don't call. Hey, look, stop playing with me. They be trying to challenge me, go play basketball. Man, I taught you that. You think you're gonna beat me? <laughs> you, know, you better relax. You know, I got little ones, man. Little nephews that you know that I gotta check every now and then. <laughs> My brother be calling me, yo, come help your nephew. I'm like, you do not lay with her and you better go fix your problem. Right. But right. in other words, your life is, is, is too, is too, is high. what's the word? Uh, it's, 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 it's special. Mm -hmm. Then to just go out there and kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Think about other people that you love. Think about, think about House of David. Mm -hmm. You know when you come in, you're going to get some type of hug or some type of salute. Mm -hmm. right. Come. Sure. But let's read about um, St. John chapter 3. We're going to read verse 11. Two fourteen. For this is. Go ahead, Prince. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. Go ahead. That we should love one another. So that was in the beginning. The most I told Cain to love Abel. The most I told Abel to love who? Cain. Mm -hmm. That was what in the beginning. Love one another. The most I told even Adam to love each other. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one. Not as Cain, who was that wicked one. So Cain, go ahead, my brother. And slew hold up, hold up. This is the story program. Go ahead, my brother. Cain was of the wicked one. Yes. Who is that? Cain. Of the wicked one. Yeah, that's him. Cain. I see. You want to talk about that's Esau? That's a different class. We stand with Cain. <laughs> In other words, Adam and Eve had, had two sons, right? Cain and Abel. Yes. Cain was the wicked one. In other words, there was nothing good about him. Same mother, same father. He was just wicked. He didn't care about the Mosa. Actually, he went against the Mosa. When you read about him, he built different um, city to make the people worship him. Yes. Um, notice what the scripture says. Uh -huh. Cain was of the wicked one. Of the wicked one. That's, that's what, what he was saying. What do you mean? Oh, of the of wicked one? Of the wicked one. So, um, so understand. Let me, so give me more understand. What you, try, what, what you want me to tell you? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So if, if we talk, so because hold on, hold on, he said he was of the wicked one. Yeah. So who was Cain's father? Um, that's um Adam. Adam. But of the who is the wicked? It's about dealing with the people, dealing with the people. I, I got you, I got you. That's dealing with the people because Adam, that's a different class. Adam is not the the only people. If you go into Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel, because when when Cain when Abel die, Cain find other people to marry. So it was other people around. So he was the wicked one around all the people. Oh, those people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought because different. he killed Abel. I thought different. No, I mean, this is what you think. Talk to me. That's what we're having a steward class. That's why we're here. That's why I'm on here. What did you believe? What did you hear from the beginning? I thought she was one, one person, one person at a time. He was the wicked one on all the people that's around. Oh, I thought 
thought Cain was the seed of the serpent, so you know. Well, that's 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 a different class, actually. I mean, you can't really say that because Cain died. The seed of the serpent is still here to this day. The seed of evil is still around to this day. But Cain is the fall. He's the fall of the beginning. He's the fall of of the wicked ones. He's the first antichrist. So, Not Nimrod. So Go ahead. Who be that Eve? Um, the, the Mosa. Oh. Okay. What's the point? Yo, dude, let's go, brother. Let's go. But remember, man was created from the ground. The only thing Adam and Eve was just in the garden. Added an example. It was other people around at that time. I know, I know. Yes. So I got you. So Cain is Esau. Then. That's something. That's well. When I study it in all the school, that's really a, a, a scripture that us that came in our one west really teach. But other school that was established, that's Israelite, they don't really teach that. But if you say the spirit of kings and Esau, I would never say no. I will never disagree. I will never challenge somebody. But I will not say his Esau because Esau was not created to Jacob. But if you tell me that spirit jump on Esau, I will never deny it because he is the wicked to this day. Now, we can take a little further. I take my, my class when you deal with the Roman Empire. That was 2,000 years ago, and they're still wicked to this day. So how you want me? How you want me to break it down? The Roman Empire, the Catholic Church, the Pope, a white man. How you want me to break it down? No. Muslim started from what? From the Pope. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you want? The, the the ten toes we represent the Roman Empire, but that's a different class. If that's the route y'all want to go, if you want to say let's break down Cain, right. so the spirit of Cain is not over yet. Right. It's still on earth. He's right. still. That's why. That's right. why it says of the wicked one. Right. Now, let me show you another scripture. Hold that. I'm gonna let you break this down. Let's go to um Jeremiah chapter five. Man, y'all gonna make me bring different scriptures not part of my class. Y'all gonna get me in trouble. They gonna say my time is over. Let's go. I believe it's Jeremiah. Here. Yeah. Five. Let's read on um, chapter 5, verse 25. Right. Read it from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 25. Go ahead. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Go ahead. For among my people are found wicked men. Wait a minute. So can we say this is Esau for? If that's what you're going to play with me. Is, are we going to say this is Esau? He said, among my people... I found wicked men. Okay. So when we're going to say, look, man, let's balance this. It's a balance to every, everything. But I would never say that the spirit of king is not in this world. I'd be a liar. Because people study him. That's why we say he's the first antichrist. You understand? But go ahead. Read, keep finished that. They lay wait as he that set the snares, set the snares, they set a trap. They set trap. They catch and they catch who? Man. So they put they put different churches out there. They put different philosophy out there. So who is he talking about? He's about your leaders. He said, "Among my people, I find wicked men." You can't beat that. You can't blame no. You can't blame the other nation for this one because we was at the land at the time, and we had many prophets earlier. What we read, you killed those prophets. We killed the Messiah. We told him, what? I don't want him. Give us the um, ball. Give him, give him to me. Mm -hmm. Then, that's when you, read the, the, um, when you read the book of Hebrew. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul wrote, wrote the book, because even the Hebrews, they didn't want to believe in Christ. They said, we want David. Mm -hmm. That's why he broke down the whole nine chapter and the ten chapter say he needed a body. They said, no, we don't believe in that. Christ needed a body. They said, no, nah, we don't believe in the Messiah. Give us Moses. Moses, that's why he had to break it down. Said Moses, Christ is higher than Moses. You understand? He had to break all this down because Israel refused to believe in the, in the, on the chosen one. But this is not my class. We're still dealing with jealousy. But go ahead. Let's go back to St. John. Hey, brothers, take me to another class. Something I wasn't ready for. 
You took me to another class, brother. <laughs> but that's some brothers teach that. Some brothers say King is Esau. So I understand. You know, so it is what it is. I would never go against that. Because the scriptures say Esau is red, King was black. But I would never go against him. You understand? So that's more teaching that came from us brothers that came out of one west or learn from one west. But I would never challenge it. You understand? Go ahead. Alright, read it from the book of First John, chapter 3, verse 14. Oh, 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world if the world hate you. If the world hates you, go ahead. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Go ahead. Because we love the brothers. So he talked about the brothers. Go ahead. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. So if you don't love your brothers, like Cain, because he's the father of hatred, he's the father of hating your brothers, that's why he's of that wicked one. So you love death. Okay? So let's stop there. Let's go to Ephesians. We're going to read Ephesians chapter 6. Because I got more scripture, I think I'm going to drop some. We're going to, Ephesians chapter 6, we're going to read 1 through 4. So we're still dealing with the jealousy spirit. Go ahead. Read it from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Go ahead. Children, obey your parents in the other one, for this is right. Go ahead. Honor thy father... And mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Go ahead. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. So he's telling mm -hmm. the young ones to what? Not to hate one another. So you can have that righteous spirit in you. Con? Con. Go ahead. And ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath. Now that's the reason I had that brother kill the whole family. Why well, go to your your daughter? birthday party and you kill everybody he said and ye father provoke not your children to wrath so if you married to this woman who got children outside them children are also your children so maybe there was argument on the phone maybe there was going at it I don't know but somehow somewhere he took everybody out go ahead but bring them up in the nurture and at most at one at one at at admonition admonition Ammunition of the other one. So, drop that. So, well, I got more scripture, but we're going to be dealing with something else. I don't know. Deal with me. We're still, okay. Um, drop that. Let's go to, now we're going to be dealing with the spirit of what? Of the mind. Okay? Mm -hmm. We was dealing with something else. We're going to read a few scriptures. We're going to be dealing with the spirit of the mind. So, first we're going to go to Genesis chapter 41. We're going to read 1 to 8. You, you all know the story. We're going to be the spirit of the mind. That's what we're going to be dealing with now. Genesis chapter 41, 1 to 8. Um, go ahead, brother. Read it from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 1. Go ahead. And it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed. Go ahead. And behold, he stood by the river. And behold, there came up out of the river seven well-favored kind and fat flesh. And they fed in a meadow. So he said this beautiful seven cattle that was very healthy, very beautiful. Kind? Kind. But go ahead. And behold, seven other kind came up after them out of the river, ill-favored. They was not beautiful. They were sick in the head. And lean flesh. And they, they flesh, they were sick. The whole body was sick. So he see seven beautiful cattle. Then he sees seven other sick diseases cattle. Con? Go ahead. Kind did eat up the seven. And they ate the seven. Go ahead. Well favored and fat kind. So Pharaoh awoke, and he slept and dreamed the second time. And behold, seven ears of corn came up upon one stalk, rank and good. So he he went to, he had another dream. This time he saw seven ears of corn. Go ahead. 
And behold, seven thin ears and blasted with the east wind sprung up after them. Go ahead. And seven thine thin ears devoured the seven ranks. So he saw another seven destroy the other the first seven. Go ahead. Rank and full ears. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. It was a dream. The whole time he having a dream. Go ahead. And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled. He said what? It came to pass that his spirit was troubled. What was trouble? His mind. He can't go to sleep. You know sometimes you can't go to sleep because your mind ain't right. So he had this crazy dream. It didn't look too good for him. So he said what? He said my spirit was troubled. Go ahead. And he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt. And all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them his dream. But there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. They cannot break this dream to him. So Pharaoh was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. You know, his mind ain't right. But the, 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 the question is, what was, what was trouble him? His spirit. This is not the same spirit that you breathe the life. That's not the same thing. This is not the word. When the Most High said, I'm spirit. That's not the same thing. Worship me in spirit. Those are not the same thing. So let's let's stop, let's drop that. Let's go to um Esther. They don't really say too much, but we're gonna read it one verse. But this king have the same dream. Let's go to Exodus chapter 6. We're gonna read one verse. Now, when you're dealing with this, this man right here, the same thing, he was he couldn't go to sleep, but he was. He was dealing with what? I just can't sleep for today. Something ain't right. But something happened to him, and they're going to explain to him, but we're not going to go that far. We're only going to stay at Esther 6 and 1. You got it, Prince? Go ahead, read it. On that night, could not the king sleep? Well, he told him that night because Haman and Mordecai was going at it. You understand what I'm saying? But that's, that's a different class. Go ahead. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the Chronicles. Go ahead. And they were read before the king. My point I'm trying to make, this king cannot go to sleep. So a lot of people want to be president of this country, king of that country. They're going through a lot, brother. When they hit that bed, they see all types of stuff. The Mosa is really punished them from taking some of these um, chairs, some of this throne. But that's not my point. Go back to... Um, Daniel chapter 2, we're going to read 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to jump to Daniel, the 5th chapter, we're going to read 1 through 6. It's going to talk about the same thing. You said Daniel chapter 2? Yeah. To let you know, sometimes you can't go to sleep because your, your mind is messed up. Go ahead, brother. And in the second year, in the reign of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. I can't. can't Nebuchadnezzar, don't worry. Nebuchadnezzar. Go ahead. Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams. Go ahead, he dreamed dreams. Go ahead. Wherewith his spirit was troubled. He said what? Wherewith his spirit was troubled. So my whole point of my class was the, the word spirit, how we break it down. Wow. This is not about the, the breath of life. He's talking about his spirit is troubled. His mind is troubled. He can't go to sleep. He got spirit on him. He got demons on him. He can't sleep. But this time he saw a vision. He just can't sleep. Go ahead. And his sleep break from him. Go ahead. Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the charlatans for to show the king his dream. Go ahead. So they came and stood before the king, and the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled. He said what? Dream. He said what? And my spirit was troubled. His spirit dream. was troubled. Sometimes we can't go to sleep because our mind is troubled. Right. Or sometimes we think too much. Right, that's right. So, yo, so the word spirit is a different way you break it down. Man, so if somebody said, man, you got a, a caning spirit on you. I mean, what they're trying to say, you're an evil person. But if someone said, man, you got your house shot spirit on you. That means you got a good spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's different word, different, different word, how we use the word spirit. Go ahead, Prince. What, what, what context you use? Yeah, what context? That's the word. So um, stop that. Let's, let's go to Daniel, same book, chapter 5. We're going to read 1 through 6. Go ahead, brother. When you get it, read it. Read it from the book of Daniel, chapter 5, verse 1. Belshazzar the king made a great feast 
to a thousand of his lords Go ahead. and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, whilst he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the gold. He, he a little tipsy now. He drinking wine. He throwing parties for his thousand. He being proud. But he made one big mistake. Go ahead. To bring the golden and silver vessels which his father, Nebuchadnezzar, had taken out of the temple. Now this dude's a rich man, but he, he rather drank from the priest cups that the most uh, that, that Nebuchadnezzar, when he destroyed Jerusalem, he took some of this vessel, bring it to his kingdom. But this idiot, he's feeling a little tipsy. He want to show his, his, his glory, his kingdom. He, he choose to drink in the Mosai's cups, the priest cups, something you don't do. You're not supposed to touch the cups of, or the Levi. You just don't do that. But this idiot, he got something else. Go ahead. Which was in Jerusalem. That the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubines might drink therein. So he called everybody to drink out of those vessels. How dare you? Because the nation don't care about us mm -hmm. to this day. Go ahead. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of the Most High. Of the house of the Most High. Go ahead. Which was at Jerusalem. Which was was at Jerusalem. Go ahead. And the king and his princes, his wife, and, and his And the king and his princes and his wife and his concubines drank in them. them. Disrespecting the Mosai house. Disrespect the Mosai's vessels. Disrespect the priests. Go ahead. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold. And what they did? They praised the other gods in the righteous vessels. In the, those righteous vessels. Those cups is for the Levites. You don't do that. It's just certain things you just don't do. Go ahead. And of silver, of brass. So they have all types of God. They got gold, silver, brass. Go ahead. Iron. Iron. Wood. Wood. And of stone. And stone. They got all this God they worship, but they drink it at the Mosai's vessel. You know the Mosai don't believe other gods. There's only one power we worship. There's many power here. There's many gods here. Go ahead. In the same hour. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster Go of ahead. the wall Go ahead. of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. In the same hour while they drinking that wine, that's what they call the writings of the wall, on the wall. That's where the Christian get that from or the Jehovah's Witnesses, God. the writings on the wall. At the same hour, he saw a finger writings on the wall. That got his attention. You can be drunk as... All that drunk, but if I see a hand in the wall, that's a hand in the wall. You can be drunk, but when you hear them gunshot, you know it's a gunshot. Look, I'm telling you a little story. I went, I went to Puerto Rico with my friend right there. The whole time he was driving, I was like this. I was nervous as hell because Ephraim, Ephraim, Ephraim driving a little different. He was, he, he took me to the hill, right? And I'm look, I look, I said, wait a minute, Ephraim, there's no ball right here. If the call, if the call. If the car tip like this, we all gone. And he's like this, oh, don't worry about it. I'm like, what? So I know when our pressure's on. You know, I know when our pressure's on. So the same thing, he saw that hand, it was over. Go ahead. Then the king's countenance was changed. What happened? His countenance was changed. His whole body changed, his whole face changed. Go ahead. And his thoughts troubled him. Whoa. You see what? Now the word change again. He said his thoughts change. Spirit. Your spirit changed. His spirit changed. His mind changed. Because he already was worship what? Other guys anyway. And he knew what happened to his father Nebuchadnezzar. He knew what happened because Nebuchadnezzar said there's no other God but the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So you don't ask for that? You're going to worship other guys? You knew your father... At the end, his father went a little crazy, mm -hmm. but he knew his father repent. Mm -hmm. But what he did, he disrespected the Most High, drinking his, in the vessel and worship other God. And what happened? So then the king continent was changed. Go ahead. So that the joints of his loins were loose. He, you know, them legs start bucking up. That's when you're nervous. Them legs started shaking. That will wake you up. Go ahead. And his knees smite one against another. They start bulking up. Because if you see, if I see a hand right now in the wall, I'm leaving y'all. <laughs> but what they said was trouble him, his mind, his thoughts. 
different word how we use the word spirit. Okay? So we, we drop in that. Now we're going to go to a different type of spirit. We're going to go to evil spirit. Let me know when y'all tired so I can close, shut this class down. Teach, brother. What? <laughs> Let's go. This is what I was trying to read earlier. Let's go to, um, this is a good story, too. We're going to start first king first. And we're going to read 22. We're going to 1 to 23. First king. This is a beautiful story, so we understand what's really going on. And I'm cutting my class for y'all, too, because I got, I have more, way more scripture than that. Which chapter and verse? First King, chapter 22. We're going to read one, two, three. But when you go to this story right here, this is, this is when Israel and Jerusalem were still cool, but they were still split. The ten kingdom and the three kingdom were already split. Okay? But from there, they're going to show you brotherly love. Now we don't got it together, but at this time, Israel and, um, and, the, and Jerusalem, they was kind of friends, brothers, <coughs> brothers and sisters at that time. So we have 1 Kings chapter 22. Go ahead, brother, read it. And they continued three years without war so between th Syria and Israel. So Israel and Judah, right? I, I, actually, the word is Judah, right? Not in here, but Israel had peace for three years. Go ahead. And it came to pass in the third year that Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came down to the king of Israel. And the king of Israel said unto his servant. Hold on for a second, my brother. I'm, oh, so all right, go ahead, go ahead. I was somewhere else. I'm going. Sorry, brother. Go ahead. Know ye that Ramah and Gilead is ours, and we be still, and take it not out of the hand of the king of Syria. So he's telling the other um, Judah, Judah, the king of, of Judah, don't you know this part of the city is ours, and we still didn't take up the hand of Syrians? Go ahead. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat is the king of Judah. Um, the other king, Ahab, is the king of, of who? Of Israel. Because remember, the kingdom split. Go ahead. Would thou go with me to the battle to Ramoth Gilead? And Jehoshaphat said to the king of Israel, Am I as thou art my people? You know what he say? I am as thou art my people as thou people. So what he said, we're the same people. At the time, Israel acknowledged they're the same people. Go ahead. My horses as thy horses. So in other words, we brothers. Your house is my house. Your, my house is your house. Cut. Come on, Go ahead. This is a scripture you could use that once upon a time after the split, that Israel and Judah were still together. You can read that story for them now. We had peace. Go ahead. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee at the word of the Most High today. Now, remember, Jehoshaphat is the king of Judah. He said, say, he said unto the king, Inquire, I pray thee at the word of the Lord today. So sometimes a brother might tell you, sir, he said, now, before I do this, I got to pray to the Father. See, Jehoshaphat was more righteous than Ahab. When the king, the king of um, Israel, most of them was wicked as hell. Go ahead. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men. So he gathered 400 men, go ahead. And said unto them, shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? So he said, should I go or don't go? Go ahead. And they said, go up. And the prophet, 400 men, say, go ahead. So don't because you got a lot of numbers, a lot of people following you, that means you teaching the right thing. Don't because you got a big group, a lot of, you know, I don't mean you're doing the right thing. He have 400 prophets with him. And they all say, let's go to war. Think about that for a second. 400 prophets. And they all say, let's go to war. Not one of them will cry out the most out. Not one of them pray, say, can we, can we have a council before we go to war? There was none of that. They said, let's go to war. Go ahead. For the other one shall deliver it into the hand of the king. Go ahead. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Most High? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? It's 400 prophets. False prophet. Exactly. So him being a righteous man, he looked, he said, Nah, you, you people is wicked as hell. Yo, do you have another prophet here? They're crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. You think I'm going to walk to a church? I know what you're teaching. So, this, this, this man said, you sure you don't have somebody else? Go ahead. 
that we might inquire of him. So we can call the father. Ask the father. Go ahead. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, there is yet one man. He said there is one man. Go ahead. Micah. Micah, go ahead. The son of Emla. Go ahead. By whom we may acquire of. Go ahead. The most high, but I hate him. Read that again. By whom we may acquire of the Lord. So in other words, he said, we have one man that, I got, I, that could pray for me. That we can, you know, can you ask the father, can we go to war? But what did he say? I hate him. Why he hate that prophet? Let's go. For he doth not prophesy good concerning me. You heard that? Evil. But evil, because you are an evil king. I'm not going to tell you nothing good about yourself because there's nothing good about you. Okay. Plus, he's a prophet of the Most High. He can't hide it. He got to tell you the truth. Take a shower. Brush your teeth. You know, keep the Sabbath. Keep the Passover. I'm not going to lie to you. That's what the scriptures say. What? Israel acts a teach me smooth thing. Teach a smooth thing. Don't teach us that raw stuff. No. That's why he hate them. Go ahead. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. So Jehoshaphat is really laughing at him. Don't say that, brother. Go ahead. Then the king of Israel called an officer and said, Hasten, hither Micaiah, the son of Emma, and the king of Israel, and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, sat each on his throne, having put their robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them. Now, they both sit down their throne with their beautiful robes on, and the false prophet is prophesying to them. But Jehoshaphat is not paying them no mind, because he knew they false prophet. Go ahead. And Zedekiah, the son of Chena, Chenina, made him horns of iron. And he said, Thus says the Most High, With these shalt thou push the Syrians until thou have, have consumed them. Now, you see how dramatic Israel is, another prophet? He wanted to make him an iron horn and showing the king, This is how we're going to kill the army of the of Syrians. Because Israel is just dramatic. But go ahead. And all the prophets prophesied, so saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the most high God, Where you at, Lord. Prince? Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Into the king's hand. And the messenger that was gone to Micaiah spake unto him, saying, Behold, now the words of the prophets declare good unto the king with one mouth. Go ahead. Let thy word, I pray thee, be like the word of one of them, and speak that which is good. Go ahead. And Micah I said, as the Most High liveth, what the Most High said unto me, that I will speak. He said, whatever the Most High tell me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Right. I, I don't worship men. Go ahead. So he came to the king, and the king said unto him, Micah I, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall we forbear? And he answered him, go and prosper, for the Most High shall deliver it, into the hand of the king. So he said the same thing that the false prophet said. You don't want me to tell the truth. So I'm going to tell whatever you want to hear. That's what you want. That's what I'm going to tell you. But go ahead. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of the Most High? Go ahead. And he said, I, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hill. Now he prophesied. He said, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hill. Go ahead. As sheep. As sheep. Go ahead. That have not shepherds. They don't have no leaders. They don't have no leaders. They don't have no teachers. Go ahead. And the Most High said, these have no master. They don't have no master. They don't have no teachers. Go ahead. Let them return every man to his house So peace. bring this all these people to the house before the Syrians kill them. Take them back home before this army kill them because they don't have no master. You being the king, you're not teaching them the right thing. Go ahead. Verse 18. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that, would, that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? But that's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear. He helping you by telling the truth. Why you want some prophet to lie to you? Go ahead. And he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of the Most High. I saw the Most High sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him, on his right hand and on his left. Now, the way Yeshua was teaching you earlier, we're going to go above. Now, he said the same thing which um, Stephan said, the right hand, right? Uh -huh. He said, I saw the kingdom. 
that the Mosa sitting there, and in the left hand, he saw what? He saw, well, um, no, he said, um, I saw the Lord sitting on the, in his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by on his right hand and on his left hand. So, so they surround him. Come, those called angels. He's in the throne, not in the earth. This is him seeing a vision. This is the um, prophet Malachi seeing a vision. Go ahead. I thought um, anything that was on the left hand was wicked. Not, not, not. That's what they say, and that's not really true. That's not really true because remember, at this time, Satan always was punished. Them demons of the women, Satan got kicked in Genesis. You know, he 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 got punished already. But the angels still can go to the most high. That's what the job is. When, when you read um, Job, I believe, the first chapter, or verse 6, I believe, when they say the sons of man go to God. I mean, um, it's part of my scripture, but I didn't really go to it. But they tell the angel go to the Father. And Satan come also. Come? But we're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not dealing with this. We're dealing with, with, with this one. But go ahead. And the Most High said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that matter. So the angels, they're having a debate. What I'm going to say. Go ahead. And there came forth a spirit. And what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What came forth? And there came forth a spirit. What came forth? A spirit. Go ahead. And stood before the Most High and said, I will persuade him. How are you going to do that? Go ahead. And the Most High said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You hear what he say? I'm going to be a lying spirit unto this all his prophet. So this angel is going to take a lie and give to them false prophets. Mm -hmm. So sometime you go to the church, what you think they're doing? They are a bunch of lying spirits. Mm -hmm. Where they got that from? They got it from Satan. I'm a Muslim. You're a lying spirit. Mm -hmm. That spirit came from the heaven. You know what? I'm going to go deceive these people. Go ahead. And he said... Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Go ahead. And That's now, it. Oh, um, what verse you in now? Uh, 23. Go ahead. Now, therefore, behold, the Most High hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. Go ahead. And the Most High has spoken evil concerning thee. Now, that spirit came from where? The heaven. Huh. It's the same thing what, what happened with King Saul. An uh, evil spirit came to him also. We're going to read that too. Uh, let's go on. Um, 1 Samuel chapter 16. No, chapter 18, 10 to 11. I think I stopped you from reading that, right? No, I think I stopped him from reading that. You said chapter 18? Yeah. 18 verse 11. Yeah. Reading from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18, verse 11. 10, verse 10. Oh, 10. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from the Most High... Whoa, 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 whoa. You got to slow down. What happened? Read that again. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from the Most High came Go. upon Saul. Go ahead. And he prophesied in the midst of the house. And David played with his hand as at other times. And there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David. Go now, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my bad. Um, read that again from start verse 10. That was my fault, please. Um, it came, it to, came pass. to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from the Most High came upon Saul. Go ahead. And he prophesied in the midst of the house. Now, an uh, evil... An evil spirit came to him. Now he prophesied what he's about to do to King David. He's speaking loud. I'm about to kill King David. But he made one mistake. David heard what he prophesied. You understand that? It's like me saying, I'm going to kill this brother right now. But you heard me say that. What do you do? You flee. Because you know I'm coming to get you. So he prophesied telling the truth. But it's a hatred. You understand? So he said, I'm going to go kill King David. You're going to do what? I'm going to run from you. But an evil spirit came to him. This is dealing with evil angels. Go ahead. Go ahead, Prince. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David, even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. Twice David avoided that. He's trying to kill David two times. Why? Because David hurt him. But Saul had demons in him. 
Con? So let's read first. Let's go back. Same book. Let's just go one page more. Let's read verse 16. First Samuel chapter 16, 13 to 16. Just move your page backward. Let's go back. Go ahead, brother. Read it from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 13. Go ahead. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Most High came upon David. So now we're dealing with two spirits now. Good and evil now. So now the most now Samuel the prophet anointing David. Now David had the what? He got the word of him now. He got the spirit of righteousness of him now. But let's see what happened to Saul. Go ahead. From that day forward, so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Go ahead. He said, from that day forward, that what? David stayed righteous. He had a he had a spirit of the Most High in him. But let's see what happened to Saul. Go ahead. But the spirit of the Most High departed from Saul. So now the spirit of the Most High the departed from Saul. Why? Because Saul is an evil man. He just like Cain a little bit. He's the wrong leader. Go ahead. And the evil spirit from the Most High troubled him. What happened to him? And the, and the evil spirit from the Most High troubled him. Now hold that. Let's go to Hebrew chapter 1. We're going to find out what, 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 what caused spirit. We're going to go to Hebrew chapter 1. We're going to read verse 6 and 7 and 13 and 14. We are from the book of Hebrews, chapter now we, 1. Now we're dealing with evil spirit and righteous spirit. But first we need to find out what's those spirit. Go ahead. We are from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 6. Go ahead. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, Go ahead. he saith, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. He said, let all the angels of the Most High worship Christ. Go ahead. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirit? What he call them now? Who makes his angel spirit? So no longer, no longer we breaking down the, the spirit is the breath of life. It's the breath. Now he calling the angel spirit. Y'all with me now? So you see how you can use, how they use the word spirit? It's no longer while we was breaking down earlier about it's in your mind, it's your thought. When you can't sleep, you're having an evil mind. Now he calling angels spirit. So it's all going to context. Yes, it's how you read it. Ah. It's how you read it. That's, the whole, that's my whole class. You took me somewhere else. <laughs> you took me from Cain, all that stuff. That was my point. That's my point I'm trying to make. That's why I said my class is about spirit. It was about nothing else. It's just spirit. Okay, sir. Can I just say something? At one place in the scripture, Christ says, God is a spirit. Yes, that too. Well, I'm going to get to that too. That's part of my class. Don't worry. Okay. I got you unless y'all yeah, leave, but that's part of my class. Right. I'm going to break down with spirit. That's part of my the end of my class. I got you. Don't worry. Okay. It's all in my class. I'm hoping y'all stay with me. Okay. Go ahead. And his ministers, a flame of fire. Read that again. Verse 7. And the angels, he said, who makes his angel spirit? He said he make his angel spirit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And his ministers a flame of fire. Now jump to verse 13 and 14. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand? He never told the angels, sit on my right hand. You know what I'm saying? He never told the angels that, sit on my right hand. When we read the king that was surround him in the left and the right, he never give the angels this type of power. Don't get it twisted. That's why you go to um, Psalm, the 10th chapter, he said, my Lord, say unto my Lord, sit on my right hand to make your enemy. Yeah, he never told the angels that. He talked about Christ. But that's what the scripture said. He never told the angels that. But what did he say to those angels? Go ahead. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Go ahead. Are they not all ministering spirits? What they are? They are minister of spirit. They're supposed to come down to earth and minister unto you. That was the righteous angels. Some of them went wicked, so they teach you different things. That's what happened. That's, that's what happened in the first king. I will be a lying spirit unto you. You understand? So all angels supposed to minister. They supposed to teach us. They are messengers. All angels. To men. And they're also to the most high. 
Some scriptures say they, they sing night and day. Come, when you read the book of Revelation, but go ahead. Sent forth to minister for them. Sent forth to minister for them, for what? Who shall be their heirs of salvation. Who shall be the heirs of salvation, because they teach us salvation. Now let's say if that's true. Sometimes we got to realize if that's really true. Come, I'm going to show you something. Let's go Exodus chapter 20. I'm going to blow your brain right now. Let's go Exodus chapter 20. We're going to read 20 and 22. I'm going to show you something. That the most I don't lie, this book don't lie. I'm going to blow your brain right now. Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20. We're going to read 20 and 22. Brother, please, when you get this, read it loud and clear. Right. Exodus chapter 20. Read it from the book of Exodus. Chapter 20, verse 22. And the Most High said unto Moses, No. Hold on. Wrong scripture. Wrong scripture. Oh, man. Um, get, 20, get, um, get 23. Read it from the book of Exodus, chapter 20, yeah. verse 23. I'm, I apologize. It's Exodus chapter um, 23. 23 and 20, 20 or 22. Uh, 22, yes. Go ahead. You shall not make with No, Exodus chapter 23, verse 20. Exodus chapter 23, verse 20. Yeah. Oh, so now, what, watch what happened. Reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 20. Go ahead. Behold, I send an angel before thee. Wait a minute, read that again. Behold, I send an angel before thee. Go ahead. To keep thee in the way. To keep thee in the way, go ahead. And to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. So this angel is going to bring you to a place. To the kingdom, to the wilderness. Go ahead. 21. Beware of him. Wait a minute. Most I said beware of him. Because that angel is not playing with you. This is book. He said don't play with him. See, you go play with Moses. You go play with Aaron. Don't play with that angel. I'm going to read that again. He said, Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way, to protect you, to bring thee in the place which I prepare for you, which is the kingdom, which is Israel, which is Jerusalem. But while we're in the wilderness, this angel is going to protect you. Go ahead. Beware of him. He said, You better be scared of that angel. Wake him up. And obey his voice. He said, he said What? Obey his voice. Hold on a minute. So you're trying to tell me the angel is talking to you? Is that what you're telling me? He said, you better be scared of him. You better obey, obey his voice. Go ahead. Provoke him not. I'm leaving. What does that mean? I'm going to let you break this down. What that word mean? Provoke him not. I want more. What does that mean? Don't trouble him. Don't trouble him. Don't mess with him. That's a bad dude. He said, don't you play with that angel. This is the most I is telling the throne of Israel. This is not Moses. This is not Aaron. Don't play with that angel, man. That angel will take you up. You got something to say, Prince? Go ahead. For he will not, not pardon your transgression. In other words, he's not going to pray for you. See, this is not Moses. This is not Aaron. He's not going to feel sorry for you because he has the spirit of the Most High with him. Nah. And the angel, another class I show people um, that the angel, he was the one that was in front of the, of the army. When we crossed the Red Sea, he was in the front. Then after that, he went back. He separated the Israelite and the Egyptian. So while he moved, the water was closing. While he was moving, the water was closing. The next thing you know, Israel was out, the Egyptian was gone. Then he turned around, came right back in front of the children of Israel. Because he said what? He will, to keep thee in the way. And he going to protect you. So go ahead. For my name is in him. Wait a minute. This is very important. He said, for my name is in him. So he was the one that came to Israel when Moses said, what is his name? He said, it's going to be Yahweh. It was the angel that told Mary that what? You can have a son. And you should call him what? Yahweh. It was the angel that came down that told Daniel, no longer the 70 is going to turn to what? 70 weeks. It was an angel. So you better be scared of him. And guess what? That angel is coming back again. 
However you want it. That's why I don't get too nervous sometimes. Oh, COVID, COVID-19, uh, all this disease. I said, I got my mask, but I'm looking for that angel. Nice. I'm gonna prove that to you. I'm gonna prove that to you. Nice. That's not part of my class. That's part of my other class, but I'm gonna show you that I'm not lying. I'm gonna show you I'm not lying. Let's go to Daniel, the 12th chapter. I'm gonna show you that the angel's coming back. Daniel 12 and 1. But just hold, hold that one. Hold that one. So read it. Read it from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Go ahead. And at that time. And at that time. Go ahead. Shall Michael stand up? Who's Michael? An angel. angel. No, not Yahusha. Nah, that's a that's a Christian teaching. That's Jehovah Witnesses teaching. That's not Israelite teaching. Christ is no. Look, I'm serious. Christ is not an angel. Don't ever call him an angel. He's not an angel. That's that's a um that's the Catholic Church that teach that he's an angel. He's not an angel. That's why he said he sit on my right hand. Michael is not Christ. Michael is one of the seven angels that stand in the front of Christ and the Father. The son of the Most High. That's not Michael. No. That's an angel. That's one of the seven angels. Oh, y'all need some help. I'm going to tell the elders. We need some teaching up here. Michael is one of the seven angels. That, he's not Christ. That's a, that's a, um, that's a Jehovah Witnesses teaching. They teach that. Um, and seven the Adventists, I believe, teach that. Hold on. I got you. Go ahead. What about Melchizedek? Can that be Christ? Who? Melchizedek? Yeah. There I go with that. There I go with that. Yeah, go ahead. Who sat at the right hand of the, the most high? It was, it was um, Christ. Yeah. Christ. Yeah. The son of God. Yeah. But this is about the earth. Okay. At this time, Christ is not there yet. He's still in the heavens. Let's read it. Hold on, I got you. Let, let's read it. Let's read the whole thing so we understand. I cut you out too fast. Go ahead. Read it from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Go ahead. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble. Go ahead. Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. So in other words, the destruction, the problem that's about to be at this earth, you never seen that before. So this is about the latter days. But he said, Michael is going to stand for us once again. But remember, Christ is up there. Christ is not coming to win. Can anybody tell me when? To the last trumpet. This is can't be any trumpet because there's seven of them. So Christ and Michael, they are not the same. Um, Michael is an angel, not Christ. Christ is the son of God. Even in certain scripture, they say the angel is sons of God too. I know that. But Michael is the one of them seven that stand in the, in the throne. But this particular time, he's going to stand for us, just like the old scripture. He uh, said, beware of him. But go ahead, read. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Go ahead, what? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. So that should let you know this is the last day of scripture, because we're not delivered yet. We're still in this wicked land, wicked world. So that should put, that should, that should um, put the light a little bit now. Come on. That should let you know this is last day of scriptures. That right there should tell you, you know what? Yeah. Go ahead. One that should, every one that shall be found written in the book. You're not found written in the book yet. The most I didn't give you a reward. So that should let you know this is talking about the last day. I'm going to show you more. Go ahead. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Wait a minute. This is a resurrection to me. This has not yet happened. This, what do you say? Many when that sleep, what that sleep mean? Dead. They're going to be raising up. Go ahead. Some to everlasting life. Wait a minute. Shame. Wait a minute. So that means it's a punishment or how you, uh, how you call it? Um, it's a sentence that's already passed now. That lets you know that ain't happened yet because you didn't see Moses yet. You never see uh, uh, um, the dead rise up and they give them punishment. You didn't see that yet. So this is dealing what? A latter day scripture. Con? So my point with this, I'm trying to tell you that what? Even in the beginning, you had the angel protect you. Now, in the last day, the angel's going to protect you too. So let's go back to Exodus 23. Let's finish 22. Let No, read 21 again because I like 21. And I'm going to prove that to you. Let's go, brother. Come on, come on. Read it from the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 22. Go ahead, 21. Oh, 21? Uh, Salah. 
Beware of him and obey his voice. He said, Beware of him, o obeys his voice, because the angel is speaking. Go ahead. Provoke him not. Don't play with him. Go ahead. For he will not pardon your transgressions. Go ahead. For my name is in him. He said, For my name is in him. So he came with the name of Yahweh. Go ahead. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, go ahead, and do all that I speak, go ahead, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemy. If you listen to that angel, your enemy is gonna be my enemy. Go ahead. And an adversary unto thine ever and adversary. your adversary to your unto your address, um, whatever you say that word. So in other words, I'm gonna protect you. Go ahead, read for, twenty-three. For my angel shall go before thee. He said, For my angel shall go before thee. Go ahead. And bring <coughs> thee unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites. And the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. That's it with that one. So in other words, he say, this angel is going to protect you. And I'm going to show you something. Did we listen to that angel? Did we listen to him? No. We didn't listen to him. Can we prove that? Let's go to, um, let's go to, um, at chapter 7, 48 and 53. Who got it? 748? Yeah. Don't read it till I, till I tell you read it, Prince. Okay. I'm going to prove to you the Bible, what the scriptures say. He can involve the whole book in his will. Go ahead, brother. Acts 748. I'll be it, the most high, well, if not in temples, made with hands. I said it, the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Most High? Or what is the place of my rest? Have not my hands made all these things? Yea, stiff neck and uncircumcised Go ahead. in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. Spirit. You hear what he said? He talking to Israel. So when did Israel never listen to the to, to the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. When? Read it again. Which one? Verse 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Can we say the Holy Angels still? Yeah, yes, we could. Yeah. Yes, we could. But keep reading. Um, as your fathers did, so do ye. So he's not talking about just about the 12 apostles. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about the days of Matthew and Luke. Mm -hmm. He's talking about in the old days. You always resist the Father. Oh. You always resist the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You never listen to the angel that I sent you. That's the reason why we end up 40 years in the wilderness. Oh, That's the reason why only two people made it from Moses. That's the reason why we're here now. You never listen to the angel. God. Because what the scriptures say, they are minister of spirit. So this particular part, he's not just about the word. He's about the angel that's teaching the word. God. I'm about to switch us to the word. Hopefully we got enough time. Y'all yeah. want me to finish? Oh, brother. Let me know if y'all tired. I'll close it. I'm a different type of teacher. I'll let you go home. <laughs> but um, read 52, 53. Same thing. Go ahead, let them finish. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Go ahead. And they have slain them, which showed before, um, which showed before of the coming of the just one. Go ahead. Of whom ye had been, have been let now one brother the Go ahead. betrayers of the murderers. Go ahead. Go ahead. This, now let's let's pay attention to 53. Okay. Go ahead. 53. Who have received the law by the dis <coughs> disposition. disposition of angels? Wait a minute. Who gave you the law? Angels. So who would, would disobey also? Angels. It's it right there. It's right down. <laughs> Go ahead. And have not kept it. And you never kept the law. So the angels was already there. So sometimes uh -huh. when we break down the Holy Spirit, we can also say it's part of the holy, the holy angels. 
We can use that. Let's prove that. Let's prove he do call on angels holy. Let's go to um. Let's go to Matthew 25, verse 31. Prince Shaqua, you got it now? Let's go to Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. Let's see what he calls some of these angels. I know you never heard it like this before. I know for a fact you never heard it like this before. 25, verse 1. Verse, uh, verse 31. 31. Yeah, verse 31. Read it from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31. Go ahead. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. When the Son of Man shall call his glory. When he cracked the sky. Go ahead. And all the holy angels with him. Wait a minute. When what? All the holy angels with him. What? All the holy angels with him. With the holy angels. So he calling them holy angels. Come. Go ahead. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So this is not something new. This is not something new because the angels, the, the righteous angel is with him. Mm -hmm. But Satan and his demons, they on the earth. Come. But they do go see the Father, but that's a different class. That's not part of my class. Like you said earlier, I'm using the word spirit. That spirit means different things. Here's how you read it. The other question you asked me, that's different classes. But we, I'm not going to um, drop y'all. So um, let's go to Isaiah chapter 63. 8 and 10. And we're going to read the same thing. And you're going to say, he's not making this up. I just never heard like this before. Isaiah chapter 63. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 63. We're going to read 8 to 10. Read it from the book of Isaiah chapter 63 verse 8. Go ahead. For he said, surely they are my people. Children that will not lie. That, that's what the most I say, but we know we lie. Uh, Go ahead. So he was their savior. He was their self, uh, uh, savior. Go ahead. In all their afflictions, he was afflicted. Go ahead. And the angel of his presence saved them. What happened? And the angel of his presence saved them. So I'm not making this up then. Uh, and this is the Old Testament. Uh, I'm not making this up. Now he said the angel of his presence saved them. Go ahead. So what? For he said, No, uh uh. Oh, so what? Read not again. In right. all their affliction, he was afflicted. Go ahead. And the angel of his presence saved them. Go ahead. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. Go ahead. And he bare them. Go ahead. And carried them all the days of old. Go ahead. Now, when this happened, he going to give you exactly when that happened. But they Go ahead. Were, but they were bare. But they what? They were bare. Go ahead. And vexed his Holy Spirit. Wait a minute. What he just read? They vest his Holy Spirit. Mm. So can the angel be the Holy Spirit too? Yes. Wow. That's what he said right there. Wow. I'm not making this up. They said they rebel. Um, where we are? We say that they rebel and vest his Holy Spirit. Yeah. Go ahead. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy. Go ahead. And he fought against them. Mm. Go ahead. Then he remembered the days of old, Moses and his people saying, Where is he that bought them out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Go ahead. Where is he that put his Holy Spirit within him? Wait a minute, Moses say that too? So you trying to tell me Moses know about the Holy Spirit in the wilderness? Yes. That's why he's a big deal to a lot of people in the church when they heard the Holy Spirit. They go crazy. I say, this is easy. You never heard like this before. They don't make the Holy Spirit something that make you dance or something that go inside you. You don't know what's going on. You're over-righteous, which is <laughs> it's simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. It told you the Holy Spirit is also a part of the angel. The angel can call Holy Spirit, but also what? What she said before? The Word. Now, let's deal with the Word. Now, we were dealing with the angels, right? We're going to be dealing with the Word. I'm, almost, I'm about to finish, y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all too much. First, let's go to St. John, chapter 14. We're going to read 26, 27. Just two verses. We're going to stay in St. John for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm almost finished. I cut a lot of scriptures for y'all. Uh, so I didn't want y'all to stay all day, but... No, let us feed on the bread of life. Okay, I'll teach you all day. Chapter 14, verse 4. Um, St. John, chapter 14, 26, 27. St. John, brothers and sisters. All right, read it from the book of John. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Now read. Read 
Come from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Go ahead. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Now, nah, he call it a different name. Mm. It's just different names. Comforter. Yeah, what should we scared for? What is the comforter? It comforts you. Then we get comfort when we was in the wilderness? Yes. Well, what's the problem here? <laughs> it's just a different name. But go ahead. I, I thought Yahweh was the comforter. It is the comforter. Yahweh is the comforter. But he took, he, now hold it. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go to Revelation chapter 1. Wow. Verse 1. Remember, the, the angels and the Father, they're all together. They're not the same thing, but they work together. That's what this, that's why Yahweh Shah said, me and the Father are one. Uh -huh. What the church did, they say they're one person. No, they're not. They're two yeah, people. They but we, 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 we're together. We're in the same thing. In agreement, in agreement. But go ahead. Read it from the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. Read it. The revelation of Hamashiach Yehoshua, mm -hmm. which the Most High gave unto him Go ahead. to show him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Go ahead. And he sent and signified it by his angel. By who? By his angel. By who? By his angel. Go ahead. Unto his servant John. So in other words, the father sent Yahushua, Yahushua sent the angel. What is the problem? The angels came down. See, that's a, I have another class. I didn't bring it, but there was the angel that came down and said, what are you doing? Let me, let me show you more. Let's go to the book of Judges. Let's go to the book of Judges. I'm, a, I'm not playing with y'all. Let's go to the book of Judges. Hopefully I can find it. What about John? No, hold John. What are you doing? Don't let that go. Okay, I got one so far, all praises. We're going to read, I'm going to show you it is real. Let's go Judge, chapter 2, we're going to read verse 1. Right. Read it from the book of Judge, chapter 2, verse 1. Go ahead. And the angel of the Most High. It started right there, the angel of the Most High. Go ahead. Came up from Gilgal to Bo, Bo Kevin. So this angel is marching, he's walking. Go ahead. And said, I made you to go up out of Egypt. What? I made you. Wait a minute. Who's speaking right now? Is that Moses? The angel. Is that the Moses? Huh? So the angel's talking. So let's get it together now. The angel's speaking. Go ahead. And say, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you into the land which I swore unto your father. You trying to tell me the angel make you swear to the father? Why? Because he came in the name of the father. Right. He represents the pop. It's right. the same thing Christ was telling the Pharisees. Right. You idiot, me and the father one. Right. It's the same thing the angel's doing. He's not going off. He represents the Father. He is a messenger. He ministers for the, to the unto the people. This is not off. But go ahead. Which I swear unto your fathers, and I said I would never break my covenant with you. So wait a minute. The angel saying that because he is the mouthpiece of your house, the Mosa. It's not that hard. Jump to verse 4. Read it from the book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 4. And it came to pass when the angel of the Most High spake these words unto the children of Israel. Whoa, 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 whoa. The angel speak unto the children of Israel? The angel is talking to the children of Israel? It's right there. I'm blind or something? Everybody blind? Let me read it. It came to pass when the angel... When the angel of the Mosa spake this word unto the children of Israel. Go ahead. That the people lifted up their voice and wept. So it was not, it was never an issue for the angel to come down and talk to us, man. God. It was never an issue. God. Satan is an angel. He do not deceive who? Eve. He was speaking to Eve. And he deceived. So you trying to tell me the Mosa cannot send an angel to talk to you? God. Let me give you more evidence. Maybe I think I'm making this up. Let's go to the book of Daniel. This is not part of my class. Y'all did this to me. <laughs> Prince, why is it in Daniel the ninth chapter when it said the angel came and, and gave him the dream? Now, it's verse 20. Angel chapter 9, verse 20. When you go, when you go to, the, um, to have more understanding with the ninth chapter, this is when we were still under captivity, and Daniel was saying, "How come we still, and um, 
How, how are we still in Babylon? Because the seven years was over. Be according to prophecy, we're supposed to go back to Jerusalem. So he started asking questions. He started praying for the people. He started asking a lot of questions. Let's see who's going to answer him. Since y'all think I'm making this up, in Daniel chapter 9, verse 20. We are from the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 20. Go ahead. And whilst I was speaking and praying. While he's speaking and praying, pay attention now. And, Go ahead. And confessing my sin. And confess his sin. Go ahead. And the sin of my people. And the Israel. sin of the children of Israel. Go ahead. So he confessed for two things. His own per personal sin and the sin of the people. Pay attention. Go ahead. And the sin of my people Israel. And presenting my supplication before the Most High, my power. For the holy mountain of my power. Go ahead. Yea. Whilst I was speaking in prayer. While I was speaking and praying, go ahead. Even the man Gabriel. Even what? Gabriel. Even what? Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? An angel. You know it's an angel. Come. Go ahead. Whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning. So he saw, because when you read it in the first book, the second book, he saw Daniel. He saw Daniel. Daniel was speaking to him. Now he go that angel about to tell him something else. Go ahead. Being caused to fly swiftly. Touch me about the time of the evening, oblation. Go ahead. And he informed me. And he me, did what? Informed me. Go ahead. And talked with me. He what? And talked with me. That don't sound like an angel. Yes, it is. Come. Go ahead. And said, O oh, Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill. To give you skill and understanding. But we're not going to break down this whole book because it goes somewhere else. Come. But the angel... Is about to let him know when you read verse 24. He said, The seven and week are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy mountain, uh -uh, the holy city, to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin uh, and all the other stuff because he was talk he about to talk about Christ. Because Christ is in here when you read it, but that's not part of my class. But it's an angel speaking to Daniel. Wasn't it Matt, 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 the angel Michael? Yeah, that's Matt. I don't know. That's Gabriel. Okay. This is this this what he said, right, Gabriel? Gabriel. Yeah, he said um the man Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. So let's go back to Saint John. Let's go back to Saint John to tell you, it never was a problem. Uh. The reason why you react like this is because you never heard it like that. And I'm not throwing shots. I'm just putting it on the floor. But go ahead. Read it from the book of John, chapter thirteen, verse twenty. No, fourteen. Saint John, fourteen. 26 to 27. Read it from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Go ahead. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, Go ahead. whom the Father will send in my name, whom the Father send in my name, Go ahead. he shall teach you all things. That's nothing new. That's, an angel. That's nothing new. You, you know, no matter how you want to put it. But some people don't like that, so we're going to just say it's the word, to make you happy. To make you happy. But I'll show you all the evidence. It also came to the Holy Angel. Because the angel are connected, the righteous angel are connected to the Father and the Son. It's nothing new. Go ahead. Whom the Father will send in my name. And he shall what? Whom the Father will send in my name. And we read that earlier. The angel said, I will come in what? In his name. So what's the problem? Y'all looking like I'm stupid or something. My name is in him. My name is in him. That's right. He said, for my name is in him. It was the angel Gabriel that tell Mary, you should call him what? Yahusha. It was the angel that told Emmanuel, which is what? No, God is with us. It was an angel that came down. So it's not a problem. You never heard it like this before. But I understand. But go ahead, finish the 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He should, touch you. He should teach you all things. Go ahead. And bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to make sure you remember that. He's going to bring that to your mind once again. Go ahead. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Whatsoever I said unto you. Drop that. Let's go. St. John the 15th chapter. And also find me that scripture on when it say, um, um, uh, yeah, I wish I was a spirit. Before my sister don't get mad at me. But go ahead. 15, we're going to read 26. One verse. Read it from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 26. Go ahead. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. From the Father, go ahead. Even the Spirit of truth. Even what? Even the Spirit of truth. Now they no longer call him the Comforter. Now he's the Spirit of truth. How many names do he have? 
That's another name, the spirit of truth. Go ahead. Which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. He shall tell you about me. Read the book of Revelation. If Christ didn't go up, you would have never had the book of Peter. No. You would have never had book the Revelation. No. Paul would have never been so smart and intelligent because he was a Pharisee. So Christ had to go up. For what? For them to put those books together. So go ahead. Verse 27. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Go ahead now. Um, go back. Um, no. Go to Syndrome 17. We're going to be in Syndrome for a minute, then I'm going to close. I'm not trying to keep y'all all day. Verse what? Um, no. Five, five and nine. And we're going to jump 14 to 17. Reading from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 4. Um, five. Five. Reading from the book of John, chapter chapter 17, verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name Go ahead. unto the man which thou givest me out of the world. And which is the apostle, which is us, which is the brothers and sisters out in righteousness. Go ahead. Thine they were and thou gavest them me. Mm -hmm. And they have kept thy word. They have kept that word. Go ahead. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Go ahead. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast given me. So Christ is saying the same word you give me, I give to apostles. I give to these brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And they have received them. Good the what? They have received them. Go ahead. And, and have known surely that I came out from thee. Go ahead. And they have believed that thou didn't send me. Go ahead. I pray for them. He said, I pray for them. Go ahead. I pray not for the world. He said, I pray not for the world. Go ahead. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Now jump to verse 14. Reading from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Go ahead. I pray that I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Go ahead. But that thou shouldest Skip. keep them from the evil. Go ahead. They are not of the world. They are not of the world. Go ahead. Even as I am not of the world. And it's true. The way we move, the way we think, we're not in this world. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sanctify them through thy truth. He said what? Sanctify them to that truth. Go ahead. Thy word is truth. Thy word is truth. So hold it. Let's go to um, St. John chapter 6. Sir, just before you go, yes. don't be too fast with us because remember you are a teacher, we are students. I'm sorry, I go too fast with you? You were just talking about Yahweh Shai here. Yes. Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yes, so this is about the, yeah. Okay. This is, okay. You, know, you have to let us know because you're talking about the angels who are spirit who talk. Who came yes, but this is Yahweh Shai. This was Yahweh Shai. Who was talking to his disciples? Yes. Telling, okay. I got you. I'm not. I'm not losing you. I hope not. Chapter six, verse. Um, we're going to Saint John chapter six. I kind of jumped the gun. Chapter six. We're going to read 40, 45. Then sixty-two, sixty-three. Um, Saint John chapter six. Forty. Yeah. Forty-five. Yes. Forty-four and forty-five. Yes. Reading from the book of John, chapter six, verse forty-four. No man can come to me except the Father. Now this is Christ speaking. This is Christ. Go ahead. Which has sent me, drew him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now he said I'm going to raise him up in the last day. Go ahead. It is written in the prophets, and they say, and they shall be all taught of the Most High. Go ahead. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Now this is Christ letting him know. You got to come through me. You got to come through me. So he breaking down to John. Look, man, tell these people anything. They have to come through me. Go ahead now. Jump verse to 62 and 63. Reading from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 62. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. Go ahead. It is the spirit that quickens. That's what you was talking about. He says the spirit that quickens. Go ahead. The flesh profited nothing. This body is nothing. Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, 
This is not talking about the angels now. This is about the, his work. This is not talking about the angel. Now it's about his work. So you have to understand the word spirit. You have to understand it. So he said, what, um, where you at again? He said, um, it's the spirit that quickened. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are what? And they are life. They are life, which is the word. So you have to understand the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the word. They're all together. They're all together. But some people never ever heard that the angels part of that. Because the church don't teach it or the leader don't teach it. So when you break it down like that, they get a nervous. They get nervous. But he say what? It's the, um, it's the, it's the, it's, he said, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Go ahead. Verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh shall knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. Okay. Now, let's look at a different spirit that I jumped the gun. Now, we talk about this. Let's go to the book of Acts. I'm going to show you a different spirit. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 19. We're going to read 11 to 16. It's a funny story, too. Is that Acts chapter 19? Yeah. 11 to 16. When you get it, brother. Read it from the book of Acts. Please read it. Chapter 19, verse 11. Now, go ahead. And the Most High wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Now, Paul was working now. Now, Paul, he, uh, he got baptized. He um he he willing with Christ now. Now he converted, he believed in Christ. Go ahead. So that from his body were brought unto the sick hand handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. So he was chasing those demons. Paul has so much power, he can chase those evil demons, which is the angels now. We're dealing with angels, evil angels, evil spirit. But let's see what happened. Go ahead. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, Israelite, he's he talking about Israelite. He said there are certain vagabond Jews who are Israelite. Go ahead. Let's see what happened. Exorcists. Go ahead. Took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the other one, Yahushua, saying, "We adjure you by Yahushua, whom Paul preaches." You heard these dudes. You heard them. These idiots. They think they could cast demons, but it's at times. If somebody say, your brother, come to my house and pray over my house, say, you know what, I'm not there yet. Don't take that upon yourself to say, I can cast demons. I don't have it like that. The most I say, you got to fast, you got to pray. It's certain where you conduct yourself. You can't just cast demons. Don't let nobody lie to you. You can save people. Don't listen to them. I don't have it in me. I have to pray. Yo, can you come pray for me? Actually, it was a sister. She said she have a daycare. So she said, let's go come um, check the daycare. She said, set some prayer. I said, hold up. I call other brothers, and we set the prayers together. I'm not going to do it myself. You crazy? Oh, yeah. And them demons look at me. You think you cool? Oh. Them demons snatch me up? Nah, bro. It don't work that way. You know, you got you to gotta, you gotta live certain, certain ways. See, they doing for power. But read it again. Okay, so verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. The vagabond mean dirt bags. You know what I mean? They're not they Israelite, but they they bums. They don't acknowledge the Mosai's word. They're not into this. Go ahead. Exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the other one, Yahweh saying. Go ahead. We adjure you by Yahweh whom Paul preached. They never even study Christ. They say in the name because they see Paul doing it. They see Paul doing it, so they think they have the same power. You bug them. Go ahead. And there were seven sons. Of one Sceva, a Jew. A Jew. And a chief of the priests. Did, which is Israelite. Which did so. They did the same thing. They tried to cast demons. Go ahead. And the evil spirit answered and said. Wait a minute. The evil spirit can't talk? <laughs> Wait a minute. We got a simple problem there. Read that again. And the evil spirit answered and said. <laughs> Yahweh I know. He said. The, the demon turned around and said. Um, we know Christ. Go ahead. Um, so and the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh shall I know. And Christ Paul, I know. And Paul I know. He said, Paul I know. But who are ye? He said, who the hell is you? <laughs> <laughs> Them demons said, who, 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 who are you? 
What are you doing? So we laughing. Certain things you just don't do. Certain demons you cannot cast them off. You gotta pray fast. You gotta be on that level. Cause them demons gonna look at you. Even when you check that crazy movie, um, how you call it? That was Exorcist. You remember when them people went out? That old man. That man turned old man. One of them killed himself. Right? He threw. He jumped through the window. Cause he couldn't deal with that demon power, man. Don't play a game with this, man. Don't play with this. Just know your position, know what you're about. You know, you're the head of the house. You can set some prayers, do it. But the name of that real demons, don't go in there and say, well, I'm going to hit you with like, and I'm going to do this. I'm demon going to say, what are you doing here? How long you be in the truth? <laughs> you know, they're going to act. He, they demon is talking. Go ahead. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. So the demon was inside our man. The demon jumped out there, man. Go ahead. And overcame them. And what? And overcame them. Go ahead. And prevailed against them. Go ahead. So that they fled out of that house <laughs> naked and wounded. They went outside naked, cut up. <laughs> they beat them up. The angel said, throw your hands, brother. <laughs> the angel said, throw your hands in the air. Beat them up. And I believe um, it was also the first miracle Christ did. It was in the uh, in the temple. He cast demons in the temple. The mistake a lot of people make, right? When they walk to these doors, they think this is supposed to be righteous. You bugged out. That's the mistake a lot of people, when they come here in the house of David, it's like, well, this school's supposed to be righteous. Who told you that? It was demon in Jerusalem. It was demon in the synagogue. So you don't think it's gonna be demons here? I can't control what people do in their house. So use your head sometimes. Don't be upset at a lot of people, man. Upset if the elders messed up. Upset with something. Like, everybody's just like you. Then you have the right to be nah. Y'all brother's just wicked. But don't just be mad at a few people. I can't, you can't control what I do in my house. So if I have a demon spirit, judge me. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. So we cannot put the burden on everybody in. Come uh, Learn from example. We're almost finished, y'all. Okay. We're almost finished. Um, let's get. Who found the scripture that she wanted? Um, I was trying to. Yahweh shouts the spirit. I was trying to. I was trying to. All right, I gotta find that. Um, so let's go to. I think I got one more. Let's go to Saint John. I got a few, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's go to Book of Psalm, chapter 34, 34 and we're gonna read six and seven. Then after that, give me 1 John 4 and 6, and we're going to shut it down. So 34 verse 6 and 7. Book of Psalm, to let you know the most I love you. Read it from the book of Psalm, chapter 34, verse 6. Go ahead, brother. This poor man cried, and the most I heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. Wait a minute. He said, this poor man cried, and the most I heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. All your trouble. Go ahead. And the angel of the Most High. Now this is another angel. He said, but the angel of the Most High go what? And camped round about them that they fear him. That fear him. Go ahead. And deliver them. So them angels still protect us, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. So don't give up this fight. Come. Uh -huh. So let's go to St. John chapter, 1st St. John chapter 4, 1 and 6. And give me that scripture that the sister's talking about. I will not close this class mm -hmm. till y'all find that scripture. But well, that God is spared. Yep. Yes, John 4, 22. 4, 22. 4, 22. 4, 22. So hold, hold that. Read First John 4 and 6, and I'm going to shut this down. Read, brother. Uh, read it from the book of First John, chapter 4, verse 6. 1 through 6. Oh, 1 through 6. So, uh, beloved, believe not every spirit. Now, this is food for thoughts. This is not just food for thoughts. This is reality. The most I say, don't try every spirit. So don't because you in here think everything is rice and pieces. No, try the spirit. I might use you. Brother, give me $50. Okay. Brother, give me $50. Okay. Brother, give me... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You're using me now. Same thing with sisters too. Another sister, 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 sister. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You, uh, you using me? So try every spirit. Don't be stupid. See, that's why a lot of people walk out. That's why a lot of people leave the truth because like you're supposed to be righteous. No, 
you have people in the truth just to rob you. That's true. You still ain't figured this out? They just here just to use you and abuse you. And don't care. Because why? They never changed. That mind never changed. They never repented. But in front of you, they're righteous. Ooh, ooh, but they full of it. They full of it. Me, brothers, no. If I need something, I ask you, brother, hey, can I, I I'm, I'm messed up. But I'm not going to keep using you. I'm not going to keep using you, especially me. I think different. I tell you what, get out of my face. I don't care. I think a little different, but I respect everybody. I treat everybody at equal. That's one thing I know about me. I do my best. Go ahead. We read from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 1. Go ahead. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Don't believe anything that's come out their mouth. Go ahead. But try the spirits whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into this world. Be, try the them. World. Be around them. Listen to them. Say, nah, you full of it. I see this before. You playing games with my mind. Go ahead. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh is come in the flesh is of the most high. Go ahead. So if they acknowledge that Mary and John got together and they give birth to Christ, you can give them a pass, but you still got to try the spirit because we got people that teach that, mm -hmm. but they said the law is done away with. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 3. And every spirit that confesses not that the most high, I mean, Salah, that Yahweh is come in the flesh is not of the most high. Go ahead. And this is the spirit of, of Antichrist. So this spirit is of Antichrist. So if they don't believe he come in the flesh, they don't acknowledge him as a man, they of the Antichrist. I love my Old Testament brothers. Actually, they at war with us now. They say, how the hell you believe this? Blah, 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 blah. They making YouTube video, and I'm like, brother, take that with the Father, man. I'm not going to fight you. But the scriptures say if you don't believe in him, you what? You're an Antichrist. I didn't say it. It's right there. No. And that's a spirit. The Antichrist is a spirit. Um, in other words, they disagree, but it's going to be a physical Antichrist. We believe this in House of David. You know, it's going to be an Antichrist because when you check Revelation, they say, I saw a spirit and the beast in the, uh, in the lick of fire. So it's got to be, right now is a spirit, mm -hmm. which is the mindset I'm using people. Clap for dollars an Antichrist. Mm -hmm. T.G. Tech is an Antichrist. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a physical one. It taught you, or it tell you the book of Daniel, the 11th chapter. Mm -hmm. It told you, you don't know, have no feeling for women. And I got you. Christ call it the Obama, the abomination of desolation. Yes, Paul call it the wicked one or the son of perdition. Yes, but Christ call it a different name. Mm -hmm. So, but John call him the Antichrist. I guess they, they, they like that word more than they use it, but he had different names. I think it's another one called, I think a book of Isaiah or Jeremiah, they call him the Slate or something like that. Or the executor, something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But he have another name also in the Old Testament. I mean, yeah. But somebody had to hand. Go ahead. Yeah, um, we have to take in consideration Antichrist. There is the Antichrist, as, as, uh, as Cap said. There's the, the Antichrist. Yeah. But he, there's also scriptures that said that there are many Antichrists. There are many. There are many. Meaning against Christ. There are many that are against Christ. Also, to let you know, the world full of it. You know what they have done? <laughs> They make um, Hitler Antichrist. No, he's not. Hitler didn't care about no Bible. Saddam. They make Saddam an Antichrist. There's another one. Uh, he went to war with Haiti. Oh. Not, not, Napoleon. Napoleon, they made him an Antichrist. These people don't believe in the Bible. They was just about war. They don't care about the Bible. You have to be off this book to be an Antichrist. You got to bring this book to the table. These people was just killing people. They were savages. You know, they had no mercy. But Antichrist is more a biblical word. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be into this book. Now, the Pope, he's an Antichrist. Because he in this book, and he says it's okay for two men to get married. Huh. 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 What? Huh. Yeah. Huh. They changed the Pope. Um, also, still pushing that the Sunday is the, is, is the Sabbath. Worship. Yep. Worship. So he's an Antichrist. Actually, he's the top Antichrist yeah, now yes, yes, because yes. everybody got to kiss the ring. Yeah. Everybody got to bow down to him. Mm -hmm. The Pope. Every leader had to bow down to him. Mm -hmm. Obama had to had to bow down mm -hmm. to him. Um, 
What's this dude's name? When Trump had to bow down to him. Even Trump is not really into the book. He don't care about God, mm -hmm. but he had to bow down to him. Mm -hmm. But the new president, he's old. He don't travel, so I don't know about him. <laughs> um, so we'll finish, finish um, three. Right. Verse three. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh is, is come in the flesh, is not of the most high. Go ahead. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already it is in the now, world. Now, it's the spirit of the Antichrist already in the world. You understand that? Because even at that time, um, they believed, that's why Paul wrote the, um, wrote the letter. Because they believed Nero, Nero was the Antichrist. Because he was killing the Jews. So they thought that this is it. Yes. But Paul was like, nah, he's not the he's not the Antichrist. Something got to happen first. Go ahead. So what? What um verse, verse four? Yeah. Ye are the most high, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Go ahead. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. Go ahead. And beneath, and, and the world hear them. Go ahead. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth power heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Go ahead. Hereby know we the spirit of the truth. Because we are the spirit of the truth. Go ahead. And the spirit of error. The spirit of error. Now, read that what you have, brother. All right, I got two for you. Go ahead. First one is John 4 and 22. St. John? St. John. St. John 4 and 22. Okay, let me get it, brother. I know if I don't read this for my sister, she's going to be mad at me. <laughs> so this is for you, sis. You said chapter 4, verse 22. Uh, Go ahead, brother. Said the most high is the spirit. Hold on, hold on. You said St. John, chapter 4, verse 22? St. John 4. Okay. I'm 24, I'm sorry. Okay. St. John 4 and 24. Start verse 22. Mm -hmm. 22. This is the start where he was talking to that late, to that um, woman. Right. Uh, he worshiped me, no, not what? Go ahead. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. For salvation is of the Jews, go ahead. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Because your mind got to be right. If your mind ain't right, you can't worship the Father and the Son. If you don't believe, if you don't believe there are two entities, your mind ain't right. So that's the spirit, because we never see the Father and the Son, but we, we have spirit that he, he create. Because I tell people all the time, if you can find me a man that can create the moon and the star and the sun, I'll put this Bible down. I'll follow you. It ain't happened yet. So guess what? I'm still going to worship the Father and spirit and truth. Keep your mind right and keep the truth going. Go ahead. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Go ahead. 24. Yahweh is the spirit. He said Yahweh is the spirit because he is a spirit. Yeah. We can't see him and he do whatever he want to do. He even create angels. They walk different. The angel control the, the chariot with a mind. You know what level you got to be to control the so-called UFO with your mind? Mm -hmm. You need people to drive cars. They got to put their hands. The angel, they control it with their mind. The most I create the heaven and the star with his word. Let it be light. It was light. That's, that's power. Let it be light. Go ahead. How is the spirit? And then that worship him must worship him in spirit. You have to worship in the spirit. That was what I was talking yeah. about. So, so this spirit right here. And is, in truth. This spirit right here is dealing with the whole righteousness. Your mind got to be right. You, you got you to gotta keep the commandments. You got to keep the law. What other spirit can he be? If you, read, um, if you read Galatians from 5, don't read it, from 5 to 16, you know what? Let's read it. Galatians? Let's read Galatians. Let's, let's, I, got, I got this. Let's read Galatians. You got it? Yeah, let's, let's, let's look what he's talking about. Galatians 5, 5. We're going to start from 16 and we're going to close. 16 to 26. 10 verse. We're going to close. We're going to break down the, the spirit. We're going to break it down. Let's go. Let's see what the, what, what's the spirit, what is he talking about. Go ahead. Who got it? 
Shokwa, come on, man. You, come on, Shokwa. Come on, let's go, man. You want it? Okay, let, let him read. Let, let my man. No, let my man. He ain't read today. Go ahead. Out of the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16. Go ahead. This I say then. He said, this I say then. Go ahead. Walk in the spirit. This is, when, when, I, when, I, when somebody read this, walk in the spirit, like she said, what does that talk about? What are you talking about? Well, let's break it down more. Let's see what he said. Go ahead. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, so that's the spirit. When your flesh is not lusting. When you see somebody else wife, you're like, hmm. You in the flesh, you lost it. So when your mind is white, when you know that person is married, you don't want her, you in the spirit. When you see an elderly person, you help them, you in the spirit. If she dropped that $5, you put your foot in to help her and go get that $20 or $5, you're not in the spirit. I got you. I'm going to read it. I'm going to got you. So I'm explaining the, the, the spirit. So he, he said, ye shall fulfill the lust of the flesh. Go ahead. Well, the flesh lust, lusted against the spirit. He's talking about the body. Because you let your body take control, not your mind. It's a scripture that says, let your mind be in Christ that's in you. I got to think like Christ. But it's only one problem. I never see him. I know Christ to this book. I know Christ to this book. So I put my spirit in his spirit. I tell people all the time, if you want to know about the Mosa, read this book. Sometimes I want to know how the father thinks. Every now and then I get lucky. You know why? Because right now he rested. I'm not wrong. When the Passover, he said, this is my feast day. I keep the fa a Passover. I'm walking in the spirit. In righteousness. But somebody can come to the Passover and still rob you. Or curse you out. They end the Passover, but their mind is not right. Because like Ashwa said, they never kicked out old leaven. So we need to find out what she's saying. Explain the word spirit to me. Let's go. Verse 17. Spirit, yeah. Oh, go ahead. When we start off, start Verse 17. For the, for the flesh lusted against the spirit. Go ahead. The spirit against the flesh. Go ahead. And these are contrary the ones who are Bec up. Because your, your mind and your, and, 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 and your body is saying two different things. Wow. It's saying two different things. Go get that. Go do this. And we're going to break it down more. Go ahead. So that you cannot... Do the things that you would. You hear that? You cannot do the things that you want to do. Absolutely. Go ahead. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. This is what the Christian usually know how to keep the law. In other words, if I'm doing the right thing, you don't have to read the law to me. I know what it is. I know what it is. Go ahead. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Are okay. Not. Now he's going to tell you why you're not walking in the Spirit. He said the flesh is doing this. Go ahead. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery. You're not in the spirit. You, I don't care if you only do it one time. That time you was not in the spirit. Don't play it with me. Go ahead. Adultery, fornication. Fornication. You're not in the spirit. Don't play it with me. Go ahead. Uncleanness. That's the law also. Sisters, you know if you're unclean, you cannot sleep with your man. You got to tell him no. Word to the eight day. Because some of our sisters are blessed where it stopped in three days, four days. They don't have that much pain in their stomach. The scriptures say if you have a boy, um, you cannot come to the temple because the woman is unclean for, I believe, 22 days or something. Or 40 days. 40s. Thank you, sis. And if the woman, if she give birth to a girl, it's 80. I'm there, there. I'm there. I'm there, sis. I know you know. I know you know. So those are, the, those are unclean, right? Go ahead. And lasciviousness. Whatever that is, y'all know, go ahead. Adultery. Adultery. Witchcraft. Hatred. Here we go. That's the one we love so much. That's the reason why black men can't get it together. Go ahead. Variance. Go ahead. Emulation. Go ahead. Wrath. Go ahead. Strife. Go ahead. Sedition. Go ahead. Heresies. That's a whole lot, bro. And you still don't know what the spirit is about? That's a whole lot. Go ahead. Envying. You, you know that. Go ahead. Murders. Oh, we love this too. Go ahead. Drunkenness. Oh, man, we love to get drunk. We love to get drunk. Go ahead. Reviling. Go ahead. And such like. Go ahead. Of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Because they're not in the spirit. If you do all this thing, you're not in the spirit. That's why I said walk in the spirit. I'm not going to rob you. I'm not going to murder you. I'm not going to envy you. I'm not going to steal or rob. 
I'm not going to lie on you. You walking in the spirit. It's just called, it's another word called righteousness. On this particular, it's just called righteousness. I'm walking in righteous. I'm walking right. Go ahead, Prince. Uh, please, please, Hold up. Uh, let, me, let me finish till 22, 26. Go ahead. But the fruit of the spirit. But he said, but the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. What is it? Love. Wait a minute. If I love you, I'm in the spirit. If I love you, I'm in the spirit. Go ahead. Joy. I'm happy. Go ahead. Peace. Let's bring peace to one another. I'm in the spirit. Go ahead. Long suffering. What's that long suffering is about? Can somebody break that word for me? What that long suffering is about? Patience. Um, about what? Patience for what? Long suffering. Yeah, what's patient for what? Long suffering. Patient, long suffering for what? Yeah, you're in trial and tribulation and you're going. How you gonna let her win? Yeah. How you gonna let my sister win? Yeah, I'll, 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 exactly, I'll, sis. Because it's true because you long suffering. Exactly. Okay. You gotta wait to the end. That's the word. That's the long suffering. That you got you didn't say to what? Patience. That's not patience for what? I have hold on, hold on, hold on. I have patience because the line in front of me. I'm going to the bathroom. More, That's patient? That's not the same. More, be more specific. Tell me what's going on. Patient for what? We have patience because we ain't on Christ. I got it, sir. So go ahead. But you're right, though. I just want you to be explaining more. Go ahead. Gentleness. Gentle. We got to be gentle. Men and women. Go ahead. Goodness. Goodness. Faith. Here go that faith. You need that faith. I believe. Go ahead. Meekness. Meekness. Go ahead. Temperance. Go ahead. Against, against such... There is no law. Because I'm walking in righteousness. Everything that's mentioned here is part of the, the, the Old Testament. That's the law that the Most High give to Moses. Love thy neighbor. You understand? Go ahead. And they that are Yahushua's have crucified the flesh with the affections and love. So if, you, if Christ died on the cross and we follow in Christ, there's no reason we should not be walking in the spirit. That's the whole reason why he nailed to the cross. So you can believe in him. That's why he said, let the mind in Christ be in you. I'm walking in the spirit to my best ability. What another scripture say? A righteous man what? For seven times. And you get right back. You get right back. If you acknowledge your sin, go ahead. Verse 25. And we live in the spirit. That's how you live in the spirit. By doing all these things. The good things. Not the bad one. Go ahead. Let us also, to me, let us also walk in the spirit. He said, if you live in the spirit... I'm living it. I'm walking it. I'm walking it. I'm living it. Y'all with me? It's the same thing. Because I know, I know, I, look, me and him went to Puerto Rico. He left. I was in front of his wife and his children. He trusts his little daughter around me. I didn't bring my little daughters when they was five, six years old, but I don't know. I left live my daughters here. Nothing happened to them. You know, I, I had brothers come over my house. Nothing happened. Because we walk in the spirit, we live in the spirit. But you leave your wine around me, I'm drinking that wine. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. I had to put a smile on your face. But read verse 26. 26. Let us not desirous of vain glory. In other words, let's not try and be famous. Let's not try and be famous. Go ahead. Provoking one another, envying one another. He said, in other words, provoke. One another, envy one another. Another, don't just provoke somebody, piss somebody off just to do it. Hey, 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 still a class coming. Y'all talk after class. So don't don't provoke one another, envy one another, because you're walking in the spirit. When you if I if I piss you off just to piss you off, I'm not walking in the spirit, bro. You supposed to check me. You're not in the spirit, sister. Because you pissed the other sisters off. What's the matter with you? With that, I say thank you for coming. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. You got one more class. You got one more scripture. That's all. He gonna break that down. You on your own, Prince. It's, it's, it's self, basically self-explanatory. Romans chapter eight, verse nine through eleven. I let that go too. That's part. That was part of my class too. But ye are not in the flesh. Go ahead. But in the spirit. If your mind is right. If your mind. See the Christian. The reason I don't have issue with that. The Christian don't break it down like that. You said you're in the spirit. Man, be quiet. Go ahead. If so, be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, go ahead. He is none of his. Go ahead. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. So, in other words, if you believe in Christ, you walk with Christ, 
you good. Because you're walking in the spirit. Let's, a lot of people say, let's follow Christ. How you follow Christ? Through this book. A lot of people say, what will Christ do? You never heard that before? Y'all yeah. yeah, fighting, what will Christ do? Well, Christ would have never shot this person or put hands on him. Blah, 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 blah. Because they want you to walk like Christ. Cut. That's all it? Right. No, 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 no. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. In other words, spirit... in other words, you don't need this flesh no more. Come. This is not with you no more. You some somebody else. You walking in the spirit. The flesh is dead. Go ahead. But the spirit uh, is life because of righteousness. Of righteousness. Go ahead. But if the spirit of him that raised up the outside from the dead dwell in you, he that is raised up your side from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Come. 